Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by Electric E Bikes, Fabric, and Babble. Uh, now, hello, <laughs> folks, and hey, Bear. I jumped the gun. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. <laughs> Sitting here, uh, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, and uh, filling in for uh, Dusty Slayer, buddy Mike James. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, keeping it real. Yeah, yeah. Don't say too much. No, just, and then we ask him not to talk too much. We go, Mike, just right to the point. Yeah, right? yeah. ease into it, man. Yeah, ease into yeah. it. Uh, yeah, Dusty, I think is very close with the baby. So uh, uh, he's there. We got Mike. Mike was out. Yeah. Have you been? Where were we at? We were somewhere. In Charleston. Charleston got a little weird in Charleston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to Charleston together. What, what happened? Uh, it was uh, uh, it was it two in the morning? Yeah. I came out, oh, I ordered yeah. some food, two in the morning, and a uh, a drunk guy was peeing in a, a church parking church uh, lawn across the street. Yeah, and then a a homeless dude punched him in the face. <laughs> They were fighting in the middle of the street. This really happened. They were yeah. fighting in the middle of the street. They didn't tell us any of this. Yeah, yeah. three this police is... cars pulled up. And the rest of you. <laughs> yeah, 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 that would make sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did get nervous. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I think they're here for me. <laughs> no, but they saw what happened, looked at me, and just drove off. <laughs> drove off. I was just like, oh, it was almost like welcome to welcome to Charleston. Yeah, that's how, yeah. That's how we get down. What were you doing at two? Hmm? What were you doing out there at 2 a.m.? Oh. Uh, <laughs> he sounds so, like a cop. No. <laughs> it's your fault yeah, for being look, out there. Yeah, you know, fast food. Where you food. heading, buddy? A little my, fast food. If my, if my wife is not there, you know. I know what's happening. Fast food. Yeah. Yeah. Got to. Yeah. As comics get older. It used to be uh, you got in trouble at bars. And yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. now it's all about DoorDash and uh, you see it come up. It is very funny to if you catch someone. Because you can do, when you do a DoorDash late, you, you, I imagine you kind of want to do it privately. Oh, yeah. But then you have something like that happen. You're like, well, you can't. We're on the now same account, too, it. though. Yeah. So, oh, you and her? Yeah. Oh. So it's like, she is, she sees it. But, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can make up something. Yeah. And be like, we were. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah bunker yeah. down. There's a yeah. hurricane. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I was starving. They were fighting in the middle of the streets. Yeah. Homeless people drunk. But that's why you do DoorDash. So you can see something like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. That should be in their ad. Yeah. yeah. That's why you do it. I like when you uh, catch someone doing, like, you know, like, not, it's like, uh, especially on the road, like, another comic, like, you know, Travis Arthur, he, he's been known to door dash some things, and you can see, they door dash it, like, they think everybody's asleep, Yeah, you kind of do it privately, <laughs> just kind of go, like, all right, I'm going to do a door, then someone just... On the bus, but like, I go to the bathroom, go in there, and you got four bags of McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, where did you get that? You know? Because I would imagine how many DoorDash is just like they give it to like just like dudes alone. Like, oh, yeah. you know, well, I wonder if that's got to be the that's got to be the <clears throat> most of it. A late, late night. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. It's like I know people would say drunk. They could do it. But I mean, I think how many stone cold sober <laughs> DoorDashes of just a guy alone. Yeah. Single guys. Yeah. Hey, you turn the lights off. I bet they get asked that. Will you turn the lights off when you pull in the driveway? <laughs> I bet you door that. I, I, I would bet anything. Park down the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll meet you. You know what? I'm going to order this door dash, but I'm going to come to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just stay there. Just, just stay there. Now, I do that, and I've been told that it's actually rude to do. But I will. Anybody delivering food to my house, I yeah. walk out there and meet them at the car. That's rude. Yeah. I think it's probably alarming for them sitting in their car. Then I just walk up. I basically beat them to the punch. Yeah. <laughs> I think I they're... knock on their front door window. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. ready. That guys, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for all the past 30 minutes for this. Uh, yeah, I think the whole fun part now is they don't, there's no interaction. Hmm. I don't think you want interaction with with what you're ordering on DoorDash. I, I don't. I think you're, I'm yeah. ashamed. And I, oh. Yeah. You're not, you don't order a, uh, you know, push-ups on DoorDash. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a, a, a little jog on DoorDash. No. You're ordering stuff that is. Yeah. It's supposed to be between you and that guy. They should be like. They should be like a therapist where they go. I can't say anything that you like. Again, be against the yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell yeah. anybody what you order. I can't tell anybody what you order. I, I promise I won't. You, I appreciate that, man. It's like attorney-client privilege. Yeah. Attorney-client privilege. Yes, DoorDash driver customer privilege. Yeah. yeah. 
He go, and you know, they just when during the during their off hours they go by. Did I tell you about that guy in that house right there? <laughs> just this big house, <laughs> like because I bet you do go to some giant homes too, where it's like you know you're just going to be like, yeah, this dude's. They have them sign an NDA. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah. That, <laughs> Donald Trump likes uh, McDonald's. Like you'll get like a Donald Trump guy that yeah. just like wants a McDonald's. Mm -hmm. That's not Donald Trump, but like someone that has money like that, and then just be like, he just wants McDonald's, dude. It's <laughs> two in the morning. Yeah, who's he gonna go get to go get it? Have y'all been embarrassed of anything y'all ordered on DoorDash? Just in time, like as long as they don't think it's me. I've, I've been embarrassed in a hotel room yeah when you order room service and then they're like so for two and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, nice. uh yeah <laughs> yeah and about four of us in here <clears throat> and i mean you're ordering i've like called you know a f where you would i would order a big i mean there was that was the it's the most fun sometimes like if you just are like you're stuck in your hotel and you're like all right i can order you can order room service and you order it and then you're like, they have a good dessert. And oh. Then you, then because you're like, I want to order them at the same time just so it seems normal. But then I, I don't want the dessert to just, I, like it's ice cream, just sit there yeah. while I eat. So then I'm like, I'll tell them before I go, I'm going to order this now. I'm going to call back though. <laughs> just so they know. I'm going to call back. So I'm just trying to take any kind of like them thinking in their yeah. head. Like, can you believe this guy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I did uh, Zany's in Chicago. Last night for the oh, first yeah. time. And I got got in town yesterday afternoon and <clears throat> you know the condo's right around kind of behind Zany's. And I get there, I didn't have much time. And there's I mean, it's in old town, all these great, beautiful restaurants, but I didn't want to go somewhere to sit down. There's a McDonald's right there in the corner. Oh, that's a great McDonald's though. Mm -hmm. Right uh, there on the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to that McDonald's. I mean, Chicago's such a food city. People so many people told me places to go. Yeah. I hit up a McDonald's. <laughs> And then I go and I do the show. You're downtown Zanies? Old Town. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. In the city. And then uh, I get done <clears throat> and I do go downtown, <clears throat> excuse me, by myself just to walk around. I went to try to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. Uh, in John Cancock <laughs> building. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was uh, there was a wait, so I didn't, I didn't go. Yeah. But I just walked up and down Michigan Avenue basically by myself, checking stuff out. Yeah. Got back to my condo kind of late and I'm like, well, now I am hungry. So I went back to that McDonald's. It was the only thing I put. So yeah. I ate a McDonald's twice in Chicago <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. That's all I had. Yeah, you didn't go get pizza? Why didn't you go walk and get... I would have walked and got... They got like... Uh, See, now even you are judging me for McDonald's. Well, I just think like pizza is not healthy. It's I not know, like I I'm just, telling you to go get a smoothie. I'm saying like, did you, you go eat something worse than McDonald's. I'm not get it, dude. I know. I, look, I'm, I've eaten McDonald's. I get it too, but there... I mean, there are about 14 different restaurants within 100 yards of that McDonald's. But right they're there. all they're like... Clothes, right? You go in and sit down and... Yeah, you can get to go, to go. food though, you know? I know, but... Well, it, like, it was only Giordano, fast food. like, is it Giordano's or... Uh, some of those famous pizza places, Uno yeah. Pizza, like oh, sure. yeah. those you can go in and like you just go get a big deep dish and eat. like that's kind of fun. You just go you just go sit there, look at your phone, wait for the deep dish, come out. Did you get like, the same thing both meals? No, no, you I was mixed about to it say. up. <laughs> no, I, did, I mean, I got fries both meals. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. <clears throat> but that's what you have to. Yeah, yeah. I've eaten McDonald's. I'm not. I'm not mad. I feel like I'm being I'm, judged now by. Mm, no, three fitness no, no, experts. No, no. Not, not yeah. at all. I just want to. No. <laughs> no, it's just funny. I can eat McDonald's all day. Yeah. yeah. But I would think if you're going to. And you usually take in a city. I mean, I took it in. Like I said, I tried to broaden my horizons by going to the Cheesecake yeah. Factory. <laughs> Is it because Chris Farley would eat down there? Well, just because we just talked about it on the yeah, podcast. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to go here. and But anyway. Did uh, you go up to the John Hancock building? No, I mean this was after the show, so it's kind of uh, late. Oh, okay. Michigan Avenue is not, and I it's I've been there with you not too long ago. It's not what I remember though. I used to remember it being bustling, and it was kind of just dead. Uh, well, Sunday night. Yeah, maybe. I guess I just I used to envision it like almost like Times Square, where no matter when it's busy, but it was not yeah. like that last night. I don't think Chicago is. I don't think Michigan Avenue is like that. I think because yeah. they all sh the stores shut down, and it's not Times Square. Well, they had. <laughs> You're yeah. correct. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll just <laughs> walk back and eat McDonald's. <laughs> did you get in yesterday? Mm -hmm. So you got in, then like you landed and then did the shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm, it was good though. Yeah, show was great. It was my first time at at that Zanies. And yeah, a lot of folks came out. And yeah, it's the first club I ever went up at. Did like, you play the old. piano on stage? <clears throat> I did not. Did you? 
No, but I thought about it. It used to not. They took it off for a little bit. I think they put like an electric piano up there. Oh, is it? I think so. I saw the, when I was there as the old one, I opened for uh, this comic. I hosted, I was a host for Jim David. uh, And uh, he was in, I didn't, he just came in town. But that's the first comedy club I ever uh, went on stage at. Wow. uh, Was, and he played piano. I remember that. But uh, yeah, the, I got a host there. They were a great crowd, but you know, I usually get like, understandably, like holiday, like it was Father's Day yesterday. I often get a weekend nobody else wants. Very often they say, "I can't even believe we're doing a show." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go, "But you answered the phone, so yeah. here we are." I mean, they really. Just, if somebody said, "Well, you know, it's you know Juneteenth's tomorrow," and I'm like, "Yeah, I bet that's it. I bet my crowd is Better dressing up for Juneteenth. Yeah. I bet that's why." Did yes. we come out for you? Did we support you? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would have sold out if it wasn't for Juneteenth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just so you know, we did not have Mike only on because I was going to ask that's about that. Was, that was, that's, I didn't even think about that. that. I go, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought we did. Yeah. Dusty's downstairs, but yeah. I go, <laughs> that's hilarious. It's like, yeah. We can't show yeah. Dusty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the opposite of Dusty's disrespectful. Uh, Dusty's, Dusty's June ninety first. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty looks like there's the reason there is a Juneteenth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a good call. Uh, <laughs> good call. <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking this. You think uh, is this? I don't know. It's a funny joke, but like uh, DoorDash is like. Uh, it's room service for everybody. It's like poor people room service. <laughs> That's what. You don't it, even need a room. You don't even need a room. Yeah. Like oh, it's like people are just like, yeah, I want room service too. And like, but the hotels are so expensive. They go, all right, all right. <laughs> what if uh, you got a phone? What if I got a guy that's willing to go into that McDonald's at three a.m.? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's, that is yeah. funny. That's funny, right? All right. Yeah. They were talking about you, like uh, the comic that opened for me said that he's like, yeah, there's open mic here, cigars and stripes, and they said Nate. Nate Bargatze used to do it. Do you remember that? Uh, maybe at, at Zany's? Um, no, just in Chicago. He said yeah. it's one of the longest running open mics. Yeah, yeah, I did. He I did. remember. I don't remember it was called that, but I remember that they had when I was there. They had an open mic that was the longest open mic. It was at uh, I forget the name of the place, but uh, but that's where wherever it was, you go sign up, and it was a list. And it'd be like 70 comics would sign up. Wow. And so you would sign up and then you'd get your order. And you wanted to be like 30. <laughs> wow. Because. <laughs> what are you doing? Two minutes? Uh, three minutes? Yeah, maybe Can't it's be like more three than minutes three. or something. But it was, you wanted to be like 30th. Because 30th was like uh, 8 p.m. Like, and people okay. would, re- real people would come in. Yeah. So, uh like first was like, I mean, no one's, you know, no one's in there. 30th is, you know, the 30 to 50 is like, you know, it's that's, that's crazy. It's a bar. So it's like real people would come in for those. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it's just like, you know, you, you, otherwise you could be going up. If you're last, you're like 2 a.m. Was it a host? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They ran this show. I mean, they might have switched it all. They might have few, like a, a different host for <laughs> you know, be so good shape. Cool. getting your right. steps in. <laughs> but you go sign up there. And then see where you're at. And if you were like 70th or 60th or something. Go do another show. Just yeah. go do other shows and then come back later. Yeah. If you're first, you just go do this and then go do whatever. And then, uh, but if you were in the middle, it was like, you're going to have a, you're gonna have a good spot. Mm-hmm. That's what I did. Yeah. Those are my first open mics. You said Hannibal still pop in occasionally? Yeah. He, uh, yeah, we were all there. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, we did. That's right outside that longest open mic is where I, I uh, I remember talking to my dad or something about Brian Regan live. Like that's when I, I, I picture Brian Regan live in that open mic. And like, that's where I like heard, uh, that like his, I remember hearing a CD or something mm-hmm. and then just, uh, or my dad telling, I think I remember my dad telling me about this mm-hmm. and, uh, and being like, I had to pull over cause I was laughing so hard. You got to listen to this guy's cd and then i listened to it crazy mm. yeah um all right where were you at i had a corporate in oh, florida working working man i had the nicest hotel room i've ever been in i check in at the hotel this is in outside of fort myers florida and i'm checking in and the lady goes well it's gonna be about an hour i was like 
God. And she goes, it's worth it. Like, oh, really? What? Hmm. I go, okay. I just, I thought I had a normal room. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So I walk around a kill time. I come back and dude, I basically have a whole floor of this hotel. There's oh, eight wow. different balconies. There's a pool table in there. There's like two bedrooms. I was like, this is insane, dude. So anyway, where now, was it? This was in uh, like a Hyatt Regency. I know where in outside of Fort Myers, Florida, oh, I don't yeah. know the oh, city, Bonita yeah. Springs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now I'm like, golly, it's a lot of pressure for this gig. To, this is the nicest oh, hotel room I've yeah. ever had. Can't even imagine how much this costs. And uh, it went okay. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so I get off. <laughs> the show like, went okay. The show went okay. Yeah. I did fine. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't yeah. get off and go. They should have got me two hotel rooms. Yeah. You know, it just yeah. felt. Yeah, it felt like oh, that was okay. Yeah. And everybody was nice. And then I get, I have to get on an elevator with everybody that was just yeah. at the show, and I'm going up higher than them. I'm at the pen. Yeah. <laughs> so then it's just such a different feeling being in that room after the show. Oh it's yeah. Just like I, now I'm just alone, looking at a pool table. <laughs> Yeah. And feeling like I didn't really earn this. That's Do you hilarious. know what I mean? Then I just got out of there. It's just a weird feeling. Yeah. Door dashed <laughs> Door dashed to McDonald's yeah. that night. Yeah. Played pool by myself. Yeah. It's a lot less fun than with a friend. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's a weird feeling. Yeah. Was it how many people were in the corporate? About five hundred people there. It's a big, big event in the ballroom of a how much time did you do? I did forty five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We tell you four or five of those minutes pretty good. Yeah, and then it was. <laughs> you think it went that bad? No, no, it didn't. It never goes as bad as you think. I think it just did. Was it a big room? Or? Big room. Yeah, yeah, had some trouble with the microphone that was kind yeah. of a thing the whole time. Oh, I just wanted went it in and out. It was just yes. Yeah. I was just dealing with that, but the room was so nice. I like. I wanted it to be electric. Yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. them to be like, yeah, we'll yeah. do that again next year. You yeah. know, um, and it just wasn't. And it's on me. It's nobody else's fault. Yeah, it's just it's just not feeling to go back to that room. You're like, I wish it wasn't quite this nice now. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the pool table out. Yeah. So we, Aaron and I are texting each other the same night because I had a corporate at the Music City Center, uh, downtown Nashville, and they wanted to recreate a night at the Opry. So it was me and a couple of uh, country music performers. Uh, the part of the band Sugarland. They're recreating uh, a Tuesday night at the Opry. Yeah, Tuesday night <laughs> yeah. Opry. <and> it's a. <laughs> And uh, Sugarland was there. Uh, one half of Sugarland. Yeah. And I wanted to tell the guy Sugar. your yeah. story, but I yeah. never got a chance. Oh yeah, that'd have been awesome. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was Sugar or Land that was there, yeah. but one of them was there. Uh, so I did mic check right before it started. This is the setup. So this is my vantage point from the stage. Oh wow! There's this <laughs> giant oh, dance floor. Nobody close to the stage. And look how far and you're away. on the stage. I'm on the stage right there. That's Perfect. Crazy. I love having people that yeah. far away. Yeah. So now yeah. I'm like, are oh they having gosh. dancing? They did. Like I asked, why is that giant dance floor in the middle there? And they're like, yeah, they're gonna hope to come out and dance later. Did they? I don't know. I left. Not <laughs> during Brian's set. <laughs> yeah. That's you got sure. out of there. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, crazy. It is crazy. So they get way behind schedule wise, like doing sound checks and stuff like that. And then to make up for it, they cut some stuff out. But what ended up happening is, for some reason, because they cut out so much, I ended up going up earlier than it was even supposed to. When they called me up, there's nobody in their seats. Everyone's mingling. They're talking. They're drinking. And I had to do 20 minutes. And I did 20 minutes to not one person. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You couldn't find anybody? Acknowledging, and they're so far away, I can't even make oh, eye yeah, contact. Yeah. It was 20 minutes of just people Talking and having a great time yeah. and catching up with each other. This is a convention they were at. Yeah. And I just, you know, I had to do my time. So, boy, you really start realizing just when you do have to do an act out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or a voice or anything. Yeah. And nobody's watching. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to commit. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Would you, did you address it? Like, I did, but they, you know, nobody's listening. So they didn't yeah. get that. Yeah. And there was one woman that just kind of walked by accidentally. And yeah. I started talking to her and she like got out of there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was just going to see her friend. It would have been great if everybody started, got up and started dancing <laughs> just during your set. Like, I mean, the whole, the whole group, the whole people watching just get up and they just start like, yeah. they do those, that uh, dance where you listen to your own music. A silent disco. Oh, yeah. silent <laughs> disco. <laughs> and then Bates is up there going, you know, as in, 
doing his act. I mean, nobody knew I was even there. When I announced that I just had a baby and no one clapped, you know, they're like, oh, oh, yeah. nobody's even listening. They're yeah. not even yeah. listening. Because when yeah. you text me that video, I was like, my instinct would be, if it's a wireless mic, I would walk yeah, out there and too. do it on the dance floor. Yeah. And but I you're considered like, that. This isn't even a salvageable situation. Right. It was. I actually went out there just to try it, but I'm like, it's not <laughs> Brian Bates night. It's, oh, yeah. I'm one yeah. small part of this thing. Wait, yeah. during, during the set, you walked out no, there No, but before, it? after you suggested that, I thought, let me go out here and get a feel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't. It would have wouldn't have worked anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, then they're like, "Well, I don't know where's that coming from." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they can't find him. <laughs> That's exactly what they yeah. would have done. I was pictured you walk out there, try to tell jokes, and you're like, "Oh, this isn't working." You and walk go back. back. <laughs> then I have to climb up on stage. I have to put the mic up oh, there. I've done Some that of those before. gigs, you get, like when if it's set up like that, I mean, people just don't know. They don't do it on purpose. But then they, right. but some of them, you like, you wish they would come up and go like, "Hey, we're going to just pay you. Don't yeah. do it. We're, this is pointless." Like we messed up, and like you know, just be. But I think they're just like now we they're paying you, so it's like you got to go do something. Right. While I was up there, I was thinking, would they rather me just get off? Well, it almost be like let me host. Yeah, mm. and we had a host. Yeah. Oh, and she's like, uh, you know, a country music star. Yeah. And, and but I mean, they weren't listening to her either. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you'd almost be like, let me go up with the host then, or something, yeah. or like let me do s- yeah. something that like we can just talk. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough situation. Well, you told me that. It did make me feel better about my <laughs> gig because they were listening and laughing. Everybody was nice. So yeah. so thank you for that. Did you have friends there? Anybody you know? That's no, so that's, funny, though. That you worst. would, you, only you would happen to you just to oh, be like, yeah. you're like, man, this gig's terrible. You're like, you got your mind? I got some worse. I'd kill for that right? gig. <laughs> <laughs> It seems like it's one of the best gigs because <laughs> is the audience within 200 yards of you? <laughs> then sign me up. His audience was in the room over. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, a show in South by Southwest that you used to do, and you would, uh, it was a cool show. And they would, they do it on purpose, but you do a show and you can't hear the audience. Ooh. So you're just in oh. uh, a sound booth type room and you just tell stories and you, or you do whatever. And uh, I forget the name of the show. But it was these guys did. They might still do it, like other places. I did it at South by Southwest, and uh, you would. It was pre, it was such a cool idea. And the audience, like, like you know, you go in there for five minutes, and you're like, you're just talking, mm-hmm. and you can't hear the crowd, so That's you don't know what's yeah. Yeah. Uh, happening. I did a show. Did you ever do the show Surrogates that they would do in Atlanta? No. Do you remember that show, Brian? Mm-mm. They did it at Zany's once, where you. Oh yeah, you're in the green room. And you get somebody from the audience, and they wire them up, and you feed them, your and jokes. you feed them your jokes, and then they perform your set. Yeah, and it, it was really fun. My oh. person murdered; like it yeah. was the best set I've ever had. Was through somebody else. Wow. Wait, say you, so you just say what you're. I'm in the green room, cut off. Yeah, I'm wired with a with a headset to a stranger on stage who's I'm using them as a puppet essentially performing my act. Yeah, it was oh, it was really oh, fun. Yeah, wow. It uh, it it hurt pretty bad. I I wanted to get out of there so bad. You know, what I wish I had was a electric e bike. Electric e bike. Oh, could zoom out of there with yeah. that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you could. I don't know if that would have helped. Uh, <laughs> drive electric e bike around just in there. What if you just went out and said, "I'm giving away," and like, like you're just doing something. You just turn yeah. it into a giveaway. And yeah, yeah, and they're still like, "I don't. No one's listening." <laughs> If you have uh, not gotten anything for dead yet for this Father's Day, give him a gift of a fun, powerful, and easy way to get outside and explore with his own electric e-bike. Electric uh, e-bike, they're the best. They're super fun. It's riding, it's like riding a, uh, you know, like a a, a safer motorcycle. You get that feeling of just, you just get to zoom around. Neighbor, it's fun. It's, It's fun for the whole family. And that's what's great. You get you do a late Father's Day gift, but or if you're a dad, just buy yourself this, and then be like, it's for everybody. Uh, I, I mean, I love it. They have quality, quality feature-filled models. Finance as low as seventy-three dollars per month. Uh, they have a powerful removal battery. Uh, you can also pedal. They have uh, seven speed gearing and five levels of pedal assist to power your ride. So you can do pedaling if you want to do it for workout. It's so fun to just ride, though. So it's like that makes it the best. There's over 250,000 riders on the road so far. Roam freely and reach up to 28 miles per hour, which is a ton. With a twist of a throttle, our next level pedal assist. So you can do either one. I mean, yeah, you can be as lazy or as active as you want. Oh, yeah. And I go lazy. 
Uh, it's because it's so – and you feel like you're on the bike and you're like, I should not go. But you're like, it's pretty fun to go. Lazy. But the pedal assist is great too because if you That's go how on, I use it. Yeah, you put it on yeah. like about in the middle on a three. Mm-hmm. Just cruise, man. Just cruise. Uh, skip the played out gifts this Father's Day and give the gift of adventure with electric e-bikes. V- visit electricebikes.com and learn more and explore the epic models electric has to offer. That is L E C T R I C E bikes dot com, electric e bikes dot com. Uh, all right. And then where were you at, Mike? Uh, Dayton. 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 Dayton funny ball with a broke foot. So he yeah, broke, broke, broke his my toe. toe. Yeah. So how'd you break yourself? Same foot. Doing, yeah. yeah I mean, same pretty yeah. brain. A little sympathy <laughs> play right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like let's tone it down a little bit. He got he scratched up a nail. Yeah, just a little. You know, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Which though. toe? Oh, uh, my big toe. Oh, uh, that's so, probably the one I would want the least broken. I know that's a big one to yeah, be broke. Me out. But it was a. I was doing a, a corporate gig in D.C. Mm. How was yours? <laughs> no, it was it was good though. <laughs> At least like, we didn't break a bone. Like, we, yeah, that, that's how good I was killing. Uh, I'll try to what up each other with these stories. <laughs> yeah. What happened to you? What was y'all's no, corporate gig? Was but yours it, good? Yeah, it was a good gig. But the um the luggage rack and the the hotel room yeah. fell on my toe. Yeah, I don't understand. I, you know, you mentioned this earlier, but I don't think I get it. What? Like an empty, was anything yeah, on no, it? no, it was nothing on it, but I was getting the- uh, How weak is your toe? <laughs> it, 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 it was How perfect. big is this luggage? Are it you talking big. about the thing like a bellhop? Yeah. Uses? No, Why no, no, you... no, no, okay. no. The, the thing in the closet. He has a lot of luggage. Yeah. You sit your your, your luggage yeah, on top yeah. of it. Oh, I never on. fold out. I don't yeah. think I- Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that what that's for? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the best, dude. It is. Okay. You, don't, you never use it. Well, no. What do you do? Leave it on the floor? Oh, I had a lot of furniture to choose from last weekend. So I just. <laughs> yeah. One of his mini pool I tables. I put it on the sectional. <laughs> yeah. No, I, uh, so I was getting um, the ironing board out and it fell on my toe perfectly. Yeah. Like landed right on it. So yeah. it chipped them on. Mm-hmm. So okay. I went and performed with that. You know, I had on some slides going to it because I don't wear my shoes. And then when I got there, I had my shoes. And it was just like throbbing the entire yeah. time. But yeah. you did the show. I did the show. That was your yeah. flu game. Yeah. Yeah. And killed it. Like, yeah. like Jordan dropped Yours 38. Yours was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. maybe I should go watch Mike pick up some pointers. <laughs> uh, Corporate gigs, man. <laughs> I was in uh, uh, Sioux City, Iowa. Uh, awesome. And then the six shows in uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis. Six. Couldn't do seven, yeah. man. Uh no, <laughs> it was tough, man. The grind six out. <laughs> it goes. Uh, but it, yeah, it was six shows. Uh, they were everyone's. Uh, they, they was it was just so great. Everybody's so nice. We got a golf. Uh, 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 I went out golfing with a guy, uh, Tim. Uh, <clears throat> uh, he, he's a member at Hazelton, and uh, so he took me and Joe and Sonny Gray. We all went and golfed in Hazeltine. Hazeltine's a big, they've had a majors there. Like, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's a big, big, big course. And, uh, so, Whoa. but it was, it was a uh, super fun. We walked and, uh, Joe Zimmerman, who's a good golfer. He, uh, I don't know if I've talked, like we have a special coming out. Uh, I don't know when, but it's it, like in a f- couple months. Uh, but it's, uh, there's Joe. And then Joe played college golf at Davidson. So Joe gets oh, we get started, wow. dude. He birdies one, and then he hit three birdies on the front nine. Wow. And I'm like, wow. you know, he played college golf. So Joe, I mean, Joe can do something like pull. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, I was pretty excited because I was like, yeah. dude, what if Joe just just rips apart this place? Uh, back nine a little different. <laughs> uh, yeah, back nine. We played. Me and him played three days, and we played in Sioux City too. Uh, and then uh, and then we played here at legend my where i play and then we played uh so we played three days in a row that third day when at hazelton we walked and i was like i was pretty tired I was, my back was like sore it, but it was like it was hazelton and it was like we had a good group and it was like it was almost nice because it's like uh i gotta just have fun like instead of being you know you can take some stuff you can get out there and be like oh, i'm trying to do too good or whatever and here was just kind of like it was fun. We walked. There was no pressure. It was just kind of like a good, good time. The greens were super fast. So if you're a starting pitcher like Sonny and you know it's not your day, 
you can go do that stuff. Yeah, he pitched the night before. Yeah, so he knows he's then, not going to be playing. Yeah, he's not wow. going to be playing. So he he had to be there at three thirty mm. at the clubhouse. So he went. Uh, so he we got done, and I, mean, I texted him like the night before, and I was like, "Hey, be there at ten twenty, Hazelton." And so then he comes out, and then uh, so we go play Hazelton, and then uh, which is a pretty fun group for that, the guy we played with. I was like, "Can I bring one more person?" And he was like, yeah. I was like, all right, it's your starting pitcher of your favorite team. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's fun. Uh, and then so, but it was like awesome. And then uh, Sonny's just the best, man. He's doing really good this year uh, for the Twins. And just you said it before. I mean, he's guy. I mean, in position to, to maybe win a Cy Young. I mean, he's yeah. been well, playing unbelievable. Look at Shane Michael in there. Well. He's 11-1. Yeah, I know, but uh, until recently, Sonny was leading yeah, but he's in the major the leagues in the ERA. Be, yeah. And yeah, he's yes. in the uh, – like, Sonny's having a great fighters. year. Unfortunately for him, they don't give him a lot of runs, and he didn't get any decisions. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's like – I mean, even if you're – he's in the running. Yeah. It's like that's a solid thing, you know. I know Bad News Bates wants to bring it down. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm supporting and go, him. Yeah, and bring, good luck, Sonny. <laughs> good <it>. luck. <laughs> Remember when he was on? I pointed out that he led the league in wild pitches. And yeah, he, he didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just brings. So I told him sad things up. Uh, no, I support Sonny. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. Doesn't I feel yeah. like it. I support it. They need to give him more run production. Every game he pitches, he does great, and then they don't give me runs. Yeah. You know, and he gets a no decision. Yeah. He, uh, well, I think he's doing great. I think he's doing great. Sonny. I think he's doing okay. Sonny, I think you're doing, yeah. <laughs> uh, do better. He's, uh, he's a wonderful man. And, uh, so he, we went to the, then I went to the game, got to throw out the first pitch. Uh, uh why another you one. Just let me just, dude, I don't even have something. I promise you, I'm not trying to do anything. And these first, your, these first pitches are being thrown at me. I don't want to do them. How'd your pitch go? How'd you do? Them? It was yeah. good. It was over the plate. You would have swung. You're tall. He wouldn't have swung. You wouldn't have swung. But you're, Mike's tall, so I'd have got Mike. Oh, um, What's going on here? I, I would have probably got rocked because mine was high. And don't batters like high pitches? I, I don't know. I think I they. Know. I think like when you if you leave a pitch up a little too high. Oh, it's gone. It was like he was telling me just like get it over. You know, it's like just you know you want air under it so it's not gonna hit the ground. Right. I, I don't want to throw super hard. Yeah, see, that's the difference. I'm going to give some effort. Yeah. You just phone it in. You don't even, yeah. We had Eric film this, and for some reason. Uh, he put it in slow-mo, okay. which is not a okay. bad looking no, that's pitch, real, man. That's real speed. Yeah, yeah it's a little too high. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> just but I don't know why Eric, now I always remember, like, I always say he's a, just a barber. <laughs> Even though he tells me how to eat, yeah, that's what we'd say to him all the time. Yeah, you're just a barber. Your life. Have I said right. that on you? No. Oh, anytime he says anything, he, he goes, "Well, just remember, he's just a barber. <laughs> he's just talking about like working out or something." Yeah. Uh, and he also did great. He doesn't understand baseball and think about uh, maybe show where the ball goes. Right. <laughs> when yeah, you film I, something, <clears throat> I text him, Nick. Yesterday. I don't know how you could not. He's up in. He's up in this. He's already in the seats. Up in the top, how could you not do it sideways and just get me and Sonny filming? I mean, that's, Who do yeah. you think I'm throwing to? <laughs> right. What is? What was he thinking there? <laughs> it looks like that's he a warm goes, up. I don't think I didn't watch his video till now. <laughs> that looks like a warm up. Well, Nick's is even, even look like the real. Nick's thing. is even worse. <laughs> Nick's videos, yeah. Nick, you can't see the catcher and you can barely see you. Yeah, I'm not oh. sure he knew which one you were. Yeah, I don't have the whole. Yeah, it went. Did I send that to you. Oh, yeah, okay. it went good. And then uh, I think I sent you Travis's. Yeah, they were super. Uh, they were they were super fun. Yeah, Travis's video is just. Uh, it was like a good one, but it's blurry. And then uh, so he couldn't see it. But it was. Uh, yeah, it was an awesome, awesome. <laughs> this, I mean, who's that? This is Christ. the worst video of all. Uh, <laughs> flip phone. <laughs> who's is this? That's Travis's. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why does it do that though? Like, why does it, why does it, when you film it, you know, when you text it and it goes small? Yeah. Why does it do that? Because it, it, it compresses it. Uh, if it, especially if it's sent over text message and not iMessage. Yeah. It'll compress it to make it smaller so it can be sent. So what would you SMS. have to do? I, airdrop it? Airdrop it's typically the best way. And it would be, then it'd be normal and perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, there's, yeah. Sunny, Sunny had, had some big catching duties. 
It was me. He had to catch me, then his two sons. <laughs> For Father's Day, Sonny had to catch me and his two sons. Oh, wow. I also got Sonny's glove because he, we, me and him went and threw on the field, mm. which was very cool to go do that. Uh, just, just kind of throwing, just back and forth, so I could just pitch a couple. And then, uh, so he let me do that, and I had his glove that I think he, that he used in the game. And then I just. <laughs> Just took it. Skipping. I got it at home now. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a, no, he doesn't have We're a glove. It's, it says 54 on it. It says dad on it. For just, I just kids game. Like, I, lo- I love I mean, you, dad. Like, You're yeah. so special. Yeah, it's a game. It's a glove using the game. And I was, that's his glove. And I just, uh, yeah, I just, he just kind of kept it. He goes, I just kind of walked out and I just, I just heard him go, well, I guess Nate's keeping that one. And I was like, <laughs> looks like it, Sonny. Yeah. That was a good pitch. It's good. It looks yeah. way better from that angle. Yeah. yeah. Do you get nervous before? Uh, I think right before you pitch. I mean, it's like, because this is really, this is only the second time. If I could go out there and just do it a couple times, yeah. then you could be like, all right, all right. And then you'd be like, I know what to do. But uh, if I do another one, I need to, I need to start bringing it and try to, and hit across the plate. Yeah. I need to throw a better pitch. I need to throw that George W. Bush pitch, like after 9-11, like we did. Like, oh, yeah. Just, you know, just... Boom. Is yeah, everybody right. paying attention at that time? Like, uh, n- no. I mean, no. I mean, they, they, you know, they announce you, they play clips, and, like, yeah. it could be cheer and stuff. I don't think it's too crazy. It's not, yeah, it's not. You like, need a Bush after 9 11 moment. We need something with equally high stakes. Yeah, I didn't have, yeah, we were just doing shows on two shows on Sunday. <laughs> uh, so people could only get so much behind that. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the clip Nick sent me, they introduced you, and it sounds like nobody, it sounded like my corporate, like nobody even knew you were out no, there. No, people knew. People <laughs> well, knew. I, I got a little, they go, they popped. There's a little like, hey, you know, a little, oh, all right. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Hear it. Oh, neat. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't hear because Nick films with his phone on his eyeball, <laughs> and then he just goes, because he can't see. Nick did film the, the I posted a clip of Sonny telling me what to do, and Nick filmed that. Yeah, that was uh, good. Yeah, that was good. He did a good job with that. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so. So, Mike, if you don't know, I'm throwing out the first pitch of the Sounds game. On 4th of July, right? 4th of July. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. Nate's going on a barnstorming tour of every baseball field in America. <laughs> That's hilarious. Since yeah. then. What he doesn't know is, I'm going to drive the pace car at a race coming up. Hey. So what are you going to do about that? Are you? No. Oh, no. <laughs> but you are. Right? You are, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to the Indy 500 this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You did? To, yeah. Where? Like, uh, in Indianapolis. Yeah. I mean, where? <laughs> yeah. That's our Juneteenth, Mike. <laughs> where is he? Yeah. <laughs> no, How we, was it, man? It was, it was, it was, it was a lot. Like, I yeah. didn't, it was. <laughs> were you well, on the road there? No, we were in um, uh, Louisville. Oh, so okay. it was just right up the street. Yeah. So we, yeah. we went by there and, um, yeah, man, 450,000 people. Yeah. That is a lot of people. That's crazy. I've never seen that many people. Where did y'all go? Like, is it, it's like through the city, right? Or is it around just the, or is it around That's the track? That's the track. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's like a square track, I think, right? I've been there <laughs> in the brickyard. That would be not some sharp square, turns. but it's like, it's not, uh, it's Isn't not it like Talladega or something. It's they have a golf course in it. It's enormous. Yeah, it's huge. Uh. I, I'm not saying it's square. Like, it's, see what I mean? Like, it's like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a little... Like Mario Kart kind it's of It's not the normal. It's not like, like yeah, a... Oval. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's little... It's not a NASCAR track, is right. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Like, and there's a golf... So, there's a golf course right around it, and then you when you you uh, you uh go play, uh some of the holes are inside the track. Oh, that's that's awesome. I would love to play that course. Like, that's just to see... That's got to be crazy. Yeah, it was. I mean, they were having a concert in the during the the race. So y'all were you got tickets inside, and you go. yeah. I mean, uh, I was with Godfrey, so he yeah. he knew someone, and they brought us in. It was like a promoter or something. That's awesome. Yeah, man. And lot, then uh, did y'all watch the whole thing? Or? No, yeah. we didn't have time. <laughs> so I've never seen that many sleeveless shirts. Yeah, like, <laughs> so many. Um, but it was. I mean. They're so loud. It's so just loud. Pew. The and guy from uh, Hendersonville won. Oh, really? Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we left. Who? Sorry. I don't know his name, but he's yeah. from Hendersonville, I believe. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's got to be 200 wild. miles uh, an hour. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's <clears throat> so fast. Yeah. Did you see what happened to your buddy, uh, Jesse Rothacker? 
uh, you know, from Forgotten, was it Forgotten Friends Reptile? Yeah. Look at this, uh, the headline here. Snake control, he's been 50 times. It says, take a bite. Summer warning as nature lover meets cannibal snake on trail and has bitten over 50 times in wild video. Oh, oh, oh my man. God. <laughs> he's in a coma. <laughs> Why? He's in a... Oh. <laughs> he's fine. Oh. Says, bitten That's by an crazy. eastern milk snake more than 50 times while trying to warn audiences about the different markings each reptile has. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he got the out of the system yeah. after us. Yeah. You're know, not with us. You guys are y'all will watch uh Coyote. Um what's his name? It's, he does a show on YouTube where he like takes things from uh I've I've yeah I haven't watched did we watch or we watched it after Dude. one of yeah. our uh insect episodes yeah. here. I forgot his name, but yeah. Yeah. Coyote Peterson. That's his name. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, just, I cannot do it. So many stings. Yeah. People are just, uh, yeah. He has a tour, though. That's like, he has a tour? Yeah. What's he doing? Just getting stung? Just talking about animals. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm going to do that before that, I'm going to get fabric life insurance. Fabric by Gerber Life. (laughs) quick and easy to help protect your family's future mike you get bit by a snake or stung you're going to need life insurance you, you laugh now but when when you're on your bed you're going to wish you had it do the right thing mike <laughs> smooth fabric was designed by parents for parents to help get a high quality surprisingly affordable life ins- term life insurance policy in less than 10 minutes it takes less than 10 minutes to apply see your quote and then personalize your quote to fit your family's need you can be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required which i always say that's that that suits me well i don't want any health exams fabric is partnered with gerber life trusted by millions of families for over 50 years There's, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee you can cancel at any time fabric was specifically designed to give affordable term life insurance plus wills access to college savings funds and more protect your family today with <clears throat> i said more kind of weird there didn't I? and more Fabric, protect your family today with Fabric by Gerber Life. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash Nate. That's meetfabric.com slash Nate. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash Nate. Policies issued by Western Southern Life Assurance Company, not available in certain states. Prices subject to underwriting and health questions. Boom. I, <clears throat> yeah. Do you think people, if like someone listening to this right now, they would think that was a woman talking? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I was just trying to put a joke in. Uh, that popped on my head, and I'm trying a new thing. That anything pops in my head, I just you say. Just it. Have it. I got a new <laughs> thing. Anything that pops in my head, I just say it out loud. No see what filter. Happens. No filter. <laughs> Any joke. I did. Also, I to show you, like, uh, people there. I shaved my head. All Back right. to uh, yeah. yeah. I not shaved it. It's it buzz just down. buzzed down. Yeah. Back to the old Nate. As Laura said, this is step just one today. I don't know if there's any pictures in here. Yeah, step one. Uh, it was. It's nice to do a nice little buzz. I don't think I like it, but it's. Uh, <laughs> we're here. It was like summer, and you're like, I was already. I went short, and then I was like, you know what? I'll just go a little bit shorter. Then. That's what I yeah. did. Cool yeah. off a bit. Yeah, I did the same. Yeah. yeah. How short you go? I just went as short as I could. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you go. <laughs> Let it go. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. How short do you go? <laughs> Some places shorter than Stoops. others. <laughs> uh, start with you guys' comments. Start the show with it. <laughs> Someone commented last week yeah. that you always say that 45 minutes into the yeah. podcast. Yeah. Well, we'll do it. Yeah. William Ryan, I sometimes listen to the podcast on 0. 0.75. 0.75 times speed. Everyone sounds super relaxed and maybe a little buzzed. I know the podcast is two hours long already, but I listen while it works. So I wanted to listen to hang out with the gang as long as possible while at the office. I That's like very that. nice. Yeah. Uh, Curtis, Curtis Bonsack. Bonsack. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Bonsack. Uh, the billion served on the McDonald's sign refers to the number of burgers sold. Not the number of customers served. Now, is that true? I have no idea. I think either way, they've now qualified to say billions and sure. billions yeah. served. So it doesn't yeah. even matter at this point. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Did you know? Yeah, that that is interesting. Uh, did you know that uh, when this is forty percent chance of rain? You know what that means? I learned this super recently. Then you, then Eric learned it from the same vid, TikTok video. You learned a TikTok yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. So that's how. <laughs> you know the knowledge of everybody. I'm saying it right now, but it's like I'm almost annoyed with because I like I I I do it too where I see these videos, but it's like everybody's just got annoying little facts now, and you're like. Oh, you're like, and then you're like, oh, how'd you know that? You're like, because you're jammed your face in your phone for 12 hours yeah. and you saw a video. But it's, I'm not, it's it's just like, uh, it's very funny to be like, yeah, I did learn that. But when I, I saw that video and then I did uh, morning TV and I asked the meteorologist and I was like, you know, I just learned that and they act like that was the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> that, I think every, well, and I answer? go, well, y'all need to do a better job of explaining what this actually means. Yeah. When they say 40% chance of rain, I thought that meant 40% there's a 40% chance, chance that there's going to be rain. That's not what it means. But what it actually means is 40% of the area we're talking about will experience rain. Wait. So it's a matter of your area. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with probability. Because I think ninety percent chance of rain. Oh man, it's there's a nine rain. out of ten chance it's gonna. I'm yeah. gonna see rain today. That's not what it means. And this is true, which is which would make sense know. is why it could rain everywhere, but not where you're at. Right. Right. All they're saying is ninety percent of the area that we're discussing right. will experience rain. Right. All right. So if they say Davidson County, they're meaning ninety percent of Davidson County will experience rain. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's right. how it's actually. That's wow. what they mean when they say that. Yeah, they need to explain it. Better. Yeah, they need to yeah. word it a there's little no, bit. Yeah, there's no way anybody knows that. Yeah, uh, Gary Burgess. Now someone's going to say they learned it. And they're, where'd you learn it? <laughs> oh, uh, on a podcast. Yeah, on a video. Where'd they learn it? Video. <laughs> Everybody just learned it from the same video. <laughs> Gary Bur Burgess. Burgess. Nate suggested the Minnesota Lakes for a team mascot. The L.A. Lakers were originally the Minneapolis Lakers and moved to L.A. Look at that. That makes sense. What is a Laker, though? Just a guy that hangs out by the lake? Yeah. So. Yeah. It's probably better than lakes. Yeah. Yeah. That is why would the Los Angeles Lakers, we just accepted that they're called the Lakers. Yeah. yeah. I never thought about it. And it never, never, it doesn't make sense. It's like the Utah it's Jazz. Yeah. Same yeah. They were the New Orleans Jazz, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Same thing. Joshua Parker. I grew up in Rochester, uh, Minnesota, where the Mayo Clinic was started by a doctor who came to help with injured people after a tornado destroyed most of the town. Nuns helped his nurses. Thus, the street, uh, thus the St. Mary's wing at the Mayo Clinic. The doctor, street Mary. the Street Mary's wing at the Mayo Clinic. The <laughs> Street Paul, the, Minnesota. This is a lot of sentences, man. Uh, yeah, we need to stop. The doctor who was Dr. Mayo had two sons who also became doctors and helped turn the Mayo Clinic into what it is today, leading in new surgeries and techniques to treat people. It's very nice. That was nice. Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies also. Yeah, they're there. The Vancouver oh, yeah. Grizzlies. Yeah. So we probably have some I Grizzlies. In Memphis? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Tennessee, we don't have, we have black bear. Yeah. Black yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got a mil million videos. I'm just saying this so people can stop sending them of a uh, moose chasing a grizzly bear. Yeah. I saw, saw that. that. Yeah. Hmm. They're both surprisingly quick. Yeah. If we went, like, we just had, that was a good time with that. And we made a lot of dumb things. It, it is interesting to go back and, uh, like just like the size you don't really think of the size like so, like the weight there's a there's a weight class for a reason someone might have said that and then uh it is like the size of that moose is i mean the grizzly bear could if it got it i mean mm -hmm. the moose seems yeah. like it fight but the moose the, the, it's just so big but mm -hmm. it's fast though. like it, it can run like 30 miles, mm -hmm. miles yeah like really fast mm -hmm. we can't relitigate this whole tournament so. yeah <laughs> yeah uh Flat Cat Jessica. <laughs> I was at my nephew's high school graduation. After a girl got her diploma, she tripped and fell. Mm. Afterwards, I asked my nephew about that poor girl as I felt so bad for her. He told me that she had got paid $50 to do that. And if you watch videos, you will see they are doing that at college graduations and high school graduations. It's a challenge. 
She's basing it off of that guy who threw out the first pitch and oh and fell, which everyone does yeah. agree. Yes, that was fake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, just be skeptical of video. everything. Every time you see somebody do something like that, but also if you do something embarrassing, it's a good way to play it off. Yeah. You're like, oh, this, yeah, this is part of a challenge. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I needed this These. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could have made They're, a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, a, it's, I mean, it's just a young, a young, uh, yeah. It's a young people. It's whatever their thing that they're into. Uh, that's cool that they do that. Uh, <laughs> you don't like it? No, I'm joking. I don't care. I mean, it doesn't, I, you know, college kids. I mean, it's, it's like, yeah. No, it's high school. Well, even more so. Than yeah. It's just for fun. Who paid her $50? Who in high school has $50 to <laughs> yeah, right. give that's away? Cool. That's what I don't understand. I think it was the parents getting asking them. To have <laughs> you think I, right? her, her parents yeah. asked her to do it. What plan are you on that you, like, what if they, they people grow up now and they, you think you can just ask your parents, for, can I have $50 to make this girl trip? Yeah, that's crazy. And your family just like, yeah, yeah, here's $50. Yeah, film it and monetize it. $50 is the most. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of money. Like, I mean, especially when I graduated. I mean, it was like, you know. And you're just like doing it, you're like ah, oh, we got to give her fifty bucks. I, they, I think twenty bucks is pointless to kids now. No, Which it doesn't is. mean what it used yeah, to. It doesn't. It's like five. It really is five dollars. Was our twenty dollars? Twenty's the new five. <laughs> yeah, twenties. Yeah, f- it, yeah, twenty's the new five. Five was five dollars was like it was. I got paid five dollars to mow the my neighbor's yard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five and it two. was like five bucks. Five yeah. bucks. Oh yeah, that's, that's how I bought my Mortal Kombat. Yeah, <laughs> a yeah, yard at a time. Down. I'm like, my, I'm bring that up in my. My act. daughter got fifty dollars from my my dad yesterday, and she couldn't have cared less for her birthday. No, just because. just because. Yeah, and she couldn't have cared less. Like it wasn't it wasn't a hundred dollars. Yeah, wow. yeah. I, I, I think it's because that's the, parenting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what that is. It's a little bit on you, Mike. You can't put that on her. Teach a kid the value uh, of a dollar. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll give you that. That's is that cool. what you said to her? She goes, "I got fifty dollars." You go, it "Ain't hundred." <laughs> uh, I don't. It's, it's a mix too of like I don't know if they wrap their head around what the money is, right? But yes, it is all. It doesn't like. Mm-hmm. It's just a different time. How much does the tooth fairy give at your house? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah. See, that's wow. that's, that's changed high. since I yeah. Yeah, was it's ours like, five. She was giving out one dollar. Well, what kid. it well see what happened was one time I think it we only had a ten dollar bill, so you can't go back yeah. after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Bates was probably you did yours before the two theory was born. <laughs> uh, yeah. We just added it all up at the end. Yeah, just gave one total. Do you remember who your high school graduation speaker was? Speaker. I don't know who he had. <laughs> yeah, speaker. Oh, yeah. you talking about? Oh, to give the uh, commitments. I thought speech. it was the um, the Valley Victorian. No, yeah. We had a. Did you have somebody? Probably flew we didn't into have me. one. Yeah, That's college, right? We probably flew so did y'all have <laughs> Bill Arnold Gates. Schwartz, right. <laughs> In college, it was somebody of that caliber. Who right. was it? High, uh, I don't remember the guy's name. Oh, okay. Hmm. Are you talking about college? It was. It was. I'm talking about high school. Biden and Pence the year before. Oh, uh, together. Yeah. Oh wow, that's weird. I think. It was like two, or it was like, uh, what's that guy's name? The guy who was orange. The k- it seems like he's thinking Donald Trump. No, 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 not Trump. It. There was another guy who was oh, orange. John, John, John Boehner. Boehner. Yeah. Oh, it was oh, Boehner, yeah. Boehner, Boehner and Biden, I think, together. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Hanging out. Oh. So it was, it was a dis- whoever it was, it was a little bit of a disappointment the next year. Sure. Who was our, yours? Our high school graduation speaker was Watson Brown. Okay. He was Vanderbilt's football coach. And he went on to be the losingest coach in the history of college football. <laughs> so the guy who spoke to us about going out in the world so was the <laughs> biggest loser in all of college football. <laughs> I'm not saying that led to anything. But <laughs> yeah. it's like, you guys can was be he anything. at the time? <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. this was at, when he was at Vanderbilt in his early, you know, but mm-hmm. he went on to, he had a long career of losing in other yeah. places too. Yeah. But hey, I was so excited. We keep him. Vandy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Terry Weaver, one of the reasons that WCW Monday Nitro's first episode was recorded at Mall of America is because Hulk Hogan had opened a new restaurant in Mall of America in 1995 named Pastamania. Pastamania. 
That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> it closed after less than a year. Well, that's because they people were going past uh, pa- yeah, past yeah, what is this main, thing? Yeah. Nobody got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Kurds. Kurds. Aaron, I would like to car talk with my... Oh, wait. Aaron, I would listen to car talk with my dad when he would take me to work with him on some Saturdays growing up. Very fond memories of click and clack getting it, getting into it. Seems like should just been a. This one should have been more of a personal text. <laughs> uh, I can't believe you've never heard of that show. It's fun. They had two Boston accents, which as a kid in Alabama you just never hear. Mm-hmm. So it was just fun to hear them talk. Mm-hmm. Bet it. Uh, NPR was it on NPR? Yeah, yeah. it was. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, Austin Thomas Selby. We can't even afford FM radio. We just had AM. Did you have to pay for it? Like, would there have been time? Some radios would only have AM, though. Really? Mm-hmm. I think so. Maybe a long time ago, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but not- <laughs> don't act like you don't remember. Yeah, before yeah. my time. Yeah. I mean, there was AM stations. That- All your credits are from AM radio. <laughs> <laughs> AM radio is enormous. I mean, if you're counting the Grand Ole Opry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look hey, at the Grand Ole Opry. Hey. Grand Ole Opry, yeah. July, July 11th, July 11th. Yeah. Grand Ole, Mike James will be Grand Ole. Opry. Mm. So, uh, but the Grand, yeah, the Grand Ole Opry is enormous. Yeah, AM radio. But you know, there's some cars that they don't have them in it. Mm. Uh, Austin Thomas Selby. On last week's episode, you guys discussed boy names for Dusty's son. The name Austin was brought up, and Aaron said Austin is a serial killer's name. Later in the episode, Nate says that the name Thomas is too high fluting of a name for McDonald's. My name is Austin Thomas. <laughs> Thanks the inadvert, inadvertent shout out. Love you guys. That's Austin Thomas. Well, I think together I like them. I, I was just I'll saying, be honest, when you, uh, Austin, th- when you have three names, when three names yeah. like that is where it gets into serial killer yeah, territory. Yeah. I have three names, three first names. No, 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 but you don't introduce yourself Ma- as Michael Thomas James. Thomas. Okay, but if you went by that, I'd be old, like, that's a little bit of a serial killer. Man. Old money. <laughs> Michael Thomas James, it does sound. It does sound. Michael Thomas James has a little old money. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not surprised that she's not impressed by 50 bucks. Uh, <laughs> the family you grew up in, <laughs> I'm just asking. Most cash alive. Austin Thomas Selby. Yeah, I like those two names together. I'd work on that last name, but the <laughs> first two names are great. ATS. <laughs> I'm just saying. Work on the last ATS <laughs> killer. <laughs> can do. ATS killer, Austin Thomas Selby. Yeah. I wonder if he, I bet he goes by Austin Thomas. I think those do go to, good together. Dusty, I don't know, his kid can't be Austin Thomas. AT. AT. You know, there are some names where there's just two letters doesn't quite work. Mm-hmm. AT is almost there. Can you see calling somebody AT? AT. 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 Yeah. It's like AC. I don't like, I don't like AC Slater. Right? Yeah, but that's, that's uh, I like Saved that by the Bell. AC but works. Somehow. He made it yeah. cool though. Yeah, because it, it was him. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Well, this this guy could be cool. No boy, AT in the house. Ugh. AT. Uh, <laughs> all right. uh, Lauren Talon. Talon Talon. My husband and I never watched Little House on the Prairie growing up, so we started watching it with our four kids recently. We haven't gotten to the part where Mary becomes blind. Uh, in the future, if you could add spoiler alerts for 40-year-old TV series <laughs> that were also books, we would appreciate it. My kids don't listen to the podcast, so at least they were, they're they still be surprised. That's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this thing comes. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> that would be just in case you haven't seen. I bet you could do spoiler alerts for almost anything now because yeah. there's, there's just too many old... You know, like we we're actually in the backlog of like actually there's a lot, bunch of old movies, so uh, and people are just going to go back to watch it now. You're talking about with the writer strike going on? Oh yeah, with the writer strike. But no, I'm saying just because kids that are younger, like they're now, you know, you don't think about it. You're like, because it's is as you get older, you just think you ain't seen Six Sense, and <laughs> yeah, someone's like, I'm right. a I wasn't even born. Yeah, it was 35 years ago. Yeah. Crazy, was it? It wasn't 35 years ago. I Close not. to it. I mean, 30 probably. Yeah, no. 
What? No way. When did that come out? 90... 2000. Wait, 99, right? Did it? Okay, so 24 years? Six, 1999. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. 20... Well, 30, 24 years. That's yeah, way that's, different than yeah, 35 30 years. It's different. not that different. It is, because if you yeah. say 30, then I'm like, oh, no. It's, Dude, it is like you say 30. Well, I mean, yeah. I was like, I graduated high school in 97, so I I'm like... I graduated in 99. Yeah, I'm like, is it... Yeah, Three guys yeah, here graduated a, high school in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Yeah. You need us to get up to that five. <laughs> you have a moment in time. Do you think when... Born uh, in the 70s, graduated in 90s. What you graduated in? Ni- 90? Uh, yeah. 74. Go ahead. Someone, yeah. someone commented that uh, we're like Michael and Phyllis on The Office when he always calls out how old Phyllis is. Yeah, but we're basically the same age. Yeah. You think when I'm 88 and you're 81 and we're still doing this <laughs> podcast, you'll yeah. be making fun of me? Uh, I don't know. No, maybe I'll ease into you. I think you might be facing backwards by then. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll be lucky if you're that. sitting the right direction. <laughs> you guys. You're going to see this podcast. This podcast will be filmed downstairs. <laughs> uh, Brian can't get up here anymore. So. <laughs> That's definitely true. Uh, Ryan Joy, I wish Best Buy sponsored this episode so we could have gooder, better help, and Best Buy. That would be fun. That would be fun. I think I've used all of those words. I've used gooder. gooder. Yeah. Good, better, best. Willer. Huh? I think that's what he was implying. Good, better, best. Yeah. Good, better, best. We did talk about Best Buy because they're out of Minnesota. Yeah. Uh, Willard Garrett wanted to congratulate Aaron, congratulate Aaron on his Comedy Central stand-up feature. Yeah. I Ooh. saw Aaron two years ago when he came to Auburn, and he was great. Not to imply I know all that much about stand-up, but I can tell he's made huge strides between then and his this feature. I really enjoyed it. Not, not only that, uh, but a few of my buddies were centering on a TikTok of Aaron's YMCA football bit. Who before that clip didn't know Aaron or this podcast? So Aaron, congratulations and keep on trucking. All right, how about there that? A very nice message. Thank mm-hmm. you, Wheeler. I I did have a uh, oh all the messages to Aaron today should have been like y'all should have just texted Aaron all of this <laughs> stuff. Then <laughs> go. Yeah, you just DM me these nice messages. Yeah. Well, very I had nice. A, I had a bunch in. of dusty comments in, and mm. the last minute when he couldn't make it, I had to replace them with some nice uh, Aaron nice comments. Aaron comments. He had a, and he took you a while to find them. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the archives. Yeah. Uh, Isaac Valk. Guy Slay sounds like Nate trying to remember the team, the term manslaughter. Guy Slay. Oh, I oh, can that's see funny. that. Yeah. That's funny. That's yeah. Dusty's dad's name's Guy Slay. Yeah. That's right. funny. Did you know that, Mike? No. Guy. Yeah. His that's name funny. is Guy. We read comments that's, before the show, Mike. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it's like, what is this? We have a podcast with you, Mike. Yeah. We're, we're recording right <laughs> now. We're recording right now. It's already out. <laughs> oh, we were just talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So th- today is, today this comes out, <clears throat> first day of summer. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. So I buzz my head. Does anybody know why? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what summer? No, because you buzz your head because it's summer. You get a summer haircut. Okay. You don't think you ever did that? I, I never paid attention to when the official first day of summer was and then scheduled a haircut. I'm just saying just generally in yeah. summer. I mean, I would think, you know, you don't get hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do get real. You know, my hair's you, a little too long for my taste right now. Yeah, you I don't do ever want to just go I need to buzz take it, it down, buzz it down, mm-hmm. summer. You don't really have, do you have anything? You have shows? Any, any big, big stuff? I got We're, a taping in August. Do you have any reason to get out of bed? And- uh, <laughs> I'll definitely yeah, get cleaned yeah, do you up. Do have any reason at all to get out of bed? Uh, I got to get cleaned up before August. Uh, a taping. I, we'll get you, I got Eric, a taping, yeah. Eric will get you cleaned up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, but is, what is that? Can you say it? I'm doing, I'm doing a don't tell Oh, in oh, August. So tell. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I, I yeah. got to get a little, you know, a little lined up before yeah. then. Uh, yeah, so you don't want to go short. Because you would, let me tell you, I don't think I have to be, because that's what I was thinking about it, buzzing my head. I was like, do I have anything? And I, I mean, I did it last night for a show, and then uh, I don't. I'm doing, uh, I'm presenting at the NH, I'm doing the NASCAR, I'm driving the pace car. So if you're in Nashville, uh, Alley NASCAR race, uh, Alley NASCAR Cup, uh, I would drive the pace car. But I mean, that I figured you wear a hat, like it didn't matter. And then, uh, I am presenting an award at the NHL awards. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So that'll be the only thing that will be 
filmed. When's that? Uh, next Monday, I think. Oh wow, close. Wow, I think so. Is that air live? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just met T.J. Oshi. Plays for the uh, uh, Washington Capitals. Hmm. He came to. He's in Minneapolis. Came to the show. Uh, he's awesome. He's a good dude. Uh, <clears throat> but does anybody know why June twenty first was chosen the first day of summer? Uh, it's summer solstice, right? That's right. What is the solstice? So, do you know what the summer solstice is? Something to do with the sun. Yeah. So, I didn't know this. I learned it's when the Earth. So we have two solstice and two equinox. Mm-hmm. We have a winter and summer solstice and a, a spring and fall equinox. And they all fall around the 21st. And the solstice is when there's the most daylight and the least daylight. And then the equinox is the two times a year when this, we got 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of nighttime. Mm-hmm. So June 21st is the longest day of the year. Daylight. I mean, the most daylight. Oh, it is? Wise. Yeah. Hmm. So, so summer starts on the most daylight? Yeah, I know. It seems like it should be almost in the middle, shouldn't it? Yeah. And in Europe, they call it midsummer, but it technically summer starts on the longest day of the year. So sun will set in Nashville at 8.08 p.m. tonight. Hmm. Longest day of the year. 15.6 hours. And then oh, it, oh, oh, the night this comes out. Yeah, Wednesday. So tonight, since two days before, it'll be like 8.07 uh, Six, something like that. I wonder but, if it's like every minute. Does it do a minute? I, I always thought it was every minute, but I learned it's not quite that. It accelerates and decelerates depending on time of year. So uh, it'll start increasing um, um, about a minute every three days. Oh. It'll start, but then as it gets closer to fall, it starts increasing about three minutes per day. Yeah, this is those good golf day. You can go get a nice tea time, like five o'clock and sun's up sun's up and you could you know get a golf cart and you could play easily play nine you know but you can play 18 three hours like just go hard it's nice so the earth tilted on its axis the most in the northern hemisphere on this day and it kind of wobbles right it's kind of wobbling on its axis i don't know about that but uh at the North Pole, yeah. it's sunlight around the clock. In Alaska, in Fairbanks, Alaska, the amateur baseball team, they do a, a midnight baseball game every year where yeah. they start at 1030 and yeah. just play. And it's just like 24 hours. Yeah. I'm going to Alaska, uh, Alaska State Fair. I saw that. August 26th. Uh, I'm ne- Alaska's the last state for me to go to. Wow. And you'll have done comedy in all 50 states. So I've not done comedy in all 50 states, but I I will be, have been to all 50 states. I don't think I've done comedy in Montana, Uh, but that's it. So Alaska will be the last one. Then after that, I I need to do a show in Montana. Uh, I got to make sure I haven't done a show. But I've been to Montana, Mm -hmm. but we just went and uh, just went up there. And uh, I've done Wyoming, I've done North Dakota, South Dakota, everywhere else. So I do, and I wanted to, I want to perform. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll figure out how to do some comedy in Montana. Uh, well, anyway, this isn't our main topic, thank God, because <laughs> I don't think nobody's really interested. <laughs> no. but, well, but in the Southern Hemisphere, it will be completely uh, dark at the South Pole. Yeah, and then it starts switching. Because and and then in the uh, winter equinox, it's the opposite way around. It's dark around the clock at the North Pole and light around the clock. What how what what will the sunlight be for the Alaska State August twenty sixth? Like how long will Alaska have? Uh, where is that? Uh, Where's what? There's State Fair. <clears throat> uh, so like August of this year, sunset will be nine twenty five p.m. Wow, that's not that. That's pretty Sun's, late. No, that's, I mean, our, like, it says down there, what does that say? Sunset today is 11.40 p.m. What? That's, yeah. And that's sunrise today. at 4.20. Yeah. That's not, sorry. I thought they don't get 24 hours, like, light 24 hours all the time. No, that's what I'm no. saying. It'll start yeah. decreasing just like us. Yeah. And then, all right, so that, so when I go out there, it'll be light. I'll probably do the show in the light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless See where their state fair is at. I forget where it's at. Uh... 
The Alaska State Fair is in Palmer, Alaska. Where is that? So right now, eleven forty-five. Yeah, eleven. Let me see the map of where that is. Okay. Because uh, I, I uh, I'm very excited about going to Palm, uh, to Alaska. We've never been, and we're going to try to do some fun. So stuff. it's oh, I'm near <clears throat> Anchorage. Yeah, northeast of Anchorage. Okay. So you could, yeah. I'm gonna, I could probably stay in, we gotta stay in Anchorage, I guess. Probably. Uh, we're gonna go see, yeah, we're gonna go. I bet that's a long distance. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. did a cruise there, right? Uh, for one day, but we, I, we spent a week there on my honeymoon. Okay. We went kind of all around. Anchorage to Palmer is, uh, it's gonna be a forty-five minute drive. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Wait, wait, that's not bad. No, if we wanted to, uh, yeah. All right, for one show. All right, all right. We'll move on. Does anybody any other questions they might have about? That? I didn't even. I, mm-hmm. I barely listened. To all right, <laughs> uh, but summer, summertime. Yep. It's one of the biggest days of the year in Sweden. Summertime. It the, this day, June twenty-first. So Mid, it's summer mid-summer. for everybody, but they call it midsummer. N- Northern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere, yeah. yeah. Southern Hemisphere, this is winter. So Australia, when I go to Australia, it's going it's going to be winter time then. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. When do you go? Uh, July. Yeah, like, yeah. Something. It's yeah. The end of July. That's yeah. their December fourth, yeah. six, something like that. Yeah. See, so it's going to be cold. I, but I don't. I think I don't think everywhere's cold. I suppose yeah. it's like fifties there. Like oh, you know, it's beautiful. I went. I went Australia. there in July. Yeah. Was and, it cold? No, nah, no, it wasn't too cold. Not like here. Yeah. 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 I mean, you get cold at night, but it wasn't. Especially yeah. if you're. Where you're in Brisbane, in Sydney, yeah, yeah, every yeah, bunch of places. Yeah, all right. You saw? Wait, you you you've been to Australia? Yeah. Um, so, um, do you, you see smoke a lot of spiders? On, you could smoke on planes when he went. <laughs> <laughs> could they? It was a penal colony. <laughs> <laughs> could you smoke on planes? No. no. Yeah. Do you remember flying on planes? Do I remember flying on planes? Wait, wait, they then. smoked. No. Wait, yeah, wasn't it till like 2000? It was like, it was pretty late. We looked this up. It was later than you'd think. think yeah. Smoking on a plane? Yeah. yeah. I remember in the restaurants. That was. Yeah, I remember like, the restaurants. Like happening. But I remember, I mean, I did comedy where yeah, people yeah. smoke. But it's, uh, smoking on a plane was later. I don't ever uh, really remember it. I don't guess we would have done it. But I mean, I thought it was like. Seven, uh, seven. 1994, Delta yeah. was the first U.S. airline to ban smoking on wow. all worldwide flights. Yeah, that late in the game, I would have never thought. Yeah, that. yeah. If I'd have flown, I just didn't fly much. I think I would have. We flew once. We didn't fly at all either. We had to fly once for my grandfather's funeral, and I was five, and so we had to go home. And uh, I bet they could have smoked. I need to ask my parents if they smoked on that. If there's smoking on that plane, I don't like. So I was five. So I don't. And this was. I mean, there had to be smoke on the plane. It was 1984 or something like that. Uh, okay. And then I don't know. And I don't know if I've ever. I and I don't think I flew mm. again until like doing comedy. Basically. Yeah, until I moved to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Like, or, I mean, maybe I. You know, mm. man, you just not be able to flying is just. It's crazy how easy flying's gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's expensive, but just <clears throat> the access to it is just so much easier. Uh, and it's like just everybody, people, f- kids fly on a plane. You just would go your whole life and you would never really fly on a plane. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. So today we're talking about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a problem over here? It's just <laughs> such a pivot. It sounds like Al Bundy. Like yeah, hour and 15 minutes. They were like, now we're talking about shoes. <laughs> Where was uh, the, were you hoping it just was the summer thing? No, no. Oh, okay. I All thought right. it might have a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> What's George going to say? That more on its own volition or whatever? Yeah. But it yeah. didn't really take off like I'd hoped. But, well, you yeah. know what, Brian? Today, it's kind of a gross day today. You know, it's raining. It's overcast. Couldn't really get in the summer mood, you know? Mm. I think if Dusty was here, he would have some takes on. He would have gone, oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. He would have been into it. Well, Wait, he wouldn't I have believed like any of it. coming at me. Like, yeah. You don't want Dusty here? Is that what no, it is? No, 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 no. No, I think the. Uh, I think it's well. good Dusty wasn't here. <laughs> Yeah. Talking about the once he said and- once he said the earth was going to wobble, I mean, <laughs> Dusty kinda- might have walked out. <laughs> yeah. So, uh. all right. Today we're talking about shoes. So last week, Michael Jordan. We already talked about the flu game. Hmm. His shoe sold 
uh, from Flu Gang for $1.38 million. Wow. Uh, he gave them to a Utah Jazz ball boy who was bringing him applesauce before games. And there's a photo of him giving this kid the shoes so, so they know it's authentic. And this kid held on to him for 15 years. He sold him himself in, that, in two, 2013 for 104000 mm. And then now they've gone up to, yeah, $1.38 million. Not even the most expensive. Earlier this year, Jordan's 1998 Game 2 shoes sold for $2.238 million. Yeah, there they are, the Jordan 13s. I have those. Yeah. You have that? You have Jordan's pair? Mm-hmm. No, no. I, I wish. <laughs> He bought them. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, insane. Yeah. That much money. LeBron's shoes don't go for that, do they? No. No, they don't. <laughs> so. Oh, I yeah. forgot. Yeah, this is a big sticking point yeah. with you. Well, it's just, yeah. yeah. I like to argue around Mike that LeBron's better than Michael Jordan. He doesn't it, even it really believe it. really sets him yeah. off. It doesn't matter if I believe it. It's just who can construct a better argument. And I feel like I construct a much I, better one than you ever did. I would love that. I mean, is are you going to base who's better on how much their shoes sell for? No, no, of course not. Yeah. But we can do that, though. <laughs> yeah, we you said you would win that. Yeah. Argument. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we can, you know, whatever. And that's stats, so huh? crazy, $2.2 million. Yeah. I just just watching the video of him the other day where he put on the Jordan 1s for his yeah. last game. At, was it last game at Madison Square Garden? Yeah. And his feet were just bleeding. Yeah. And yeah, he was man. like, man, these shoes have really advanced. Yeah. Booty <laughs> dropped yeah. like 50 that game. Or yeah. Something. He had a pretty good game. <laughs> it was his last game <laughs> in New yeah. York. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dark, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So shoes have been around for they... Washington, right? No, yeah. this, this was the Bulls in 90, oh. 90, 98. Yeah. I mean, I really don't count Washington, even though he yeah. still averaged 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did he really? He did some yeah. crazy stuff in Washington. At he had 40. a 50 game for, in Washington. Yeah. Yeah. He's the only one. I think he's the only player to uh, score forty at forty. Oh, okay. Well, LeBron will do it in a few years, but I'm sure. He uh, will. Yeah, it's so funny because everyone always talks about Jordan's wizard years as if you just write him off like it was just a wash. Yeah, no, he averaged twenty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, yeah. He was still it was good. Insane. It was fun. It was nice to get. I, I actually, I saw him. I saw him play in the in as, Chicago. As, oh yeah, yeah. Not the. It wasn't the last time he went to Chicago. It was the second. This is the second to last time he went to Chicago. Oh right. Uh, because he came back one more time, and uh, Laura came to Chicago, and as well lived there, and we bought tickets. I mean, we we bought standing room only tickets. Yeah. And uh, we went. I walked down towards the court at the beginning during warm up, so I got to see him at least somewhat. Mm-hmm. Like you could see him close, and I just saw him kind of shooting. You're just like. It's really, it's the only guy that, I mean, him and Tiger, you just yeah. like can stare at Dude. and just, it's, it's crazy. weird, right? Like yeah. I, I saw him, the, the record setting game uh, in Atlanta, the the attendance record. Mm. So we saw that, that was like his last year in Chicago and that was insane. We watched him walk out of the hotel. Mm. Everybody was just standing around. Bill Winnington just walked out. Nobody said anything. Yeah. But as soon as Jordan came out. Yeah. It was, it was insane. I would have said something. I rode in the elevator with LeBron. For real? Yeah. Did you speak to him? Uh, no, I said good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was it was game it was game two. He's playing for the Cavs. I was in San Francisco for a festival, and the hotel yeah. I was at, they were staying at. Yeah. And uh, we saw him earlier. We saw them all come in. Yeah. And then we saw LeBron, and then you saw like Kyle Corver. Kyle Corver is so skinny. Mm. Uh, and then so you see them all come in. And this was the year they won it. They didn't win it this year, but they won it the year before. And oh, okay. uh, so uh, they go through, and uh, and then we're riding. We're like, in our head, we're like, we're going to a show, and they have that game that night. And we're like, dude, it'd be crazy if, like, what if LeBron got in the elevator? But you're like, why would he get yeah. that, you know? And then we're riding the elevator down, and uh, – Floor door opens. LeBron just comes in. That's he's got crazy. beats on, yeah. and he just kind of stands there, sunglasses. Doesn't really look anybody. And like, uh, and I mean, we're just all. It was like me and Anthony Jeselnik, and then this <laughs> other couple. And there's a guy standing with LeBron because the other couple like kind of pulled their phone up, and he was like, "Yeah." And yeah. they go, on. and then uh, LeBron just like stood there, and then when the doors open, he let all of us walk out first, and then uh, I was like. Have a good game. <laughs> yeah. I'm 20 years older than him. <laughs> sir, have a good game, sir. Uh, how old is he? 
No, he's 38. I'm not that much. I mean, yeah. So I'm, you know, seven years older than him. But he had his headphones uh, on, didn't hear you at all. Uh, just... well, what are you going to say? I don't know. What's... Right. Mr. James, yeah. excuse me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mr. James. Hi. Play hard out there, sir. <laughs> I have a big show tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so shoes. They think shoes have been around maybe 30,000, 40,000 years. Mm-hmm. They're basing this off of bones. People's uh, feet used to be bigger and their, and their toes were thicker. Oh. Uh, and hmm. they and they think that shoes led to shorter, thinner toes. The oldest proof they have of shoes was from like fifteen thousand years ago, cave drawings where they had shoes on in the paintings. And then hmm. the oldest really proof of actual shoes is from here in America. They found in a cave in Oregon from they think is about seven to eight thousand years ago, some sandals. Hmm. So it, that makes sense. It, they were all sandals to start out with, moccasins. Sandals, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Oh, these right here. They yeah. look like this. Just a mess. Just ugly, dude. What are those? Like some Yeezys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. He's walking on rope back then, and that was more comfortable than the ground. Must have I been, bet it was yeah. cold. Is I bet the cold was even more than. Yeah, I oh, think. Yeah. I think Native Americans just walked barefoot, unless you were in the northern area or in the winter time when it got cold and they wore moccasins but generally speaking that's just like they mm-hmm. were and dusty if dusty was here he would say that's how we all should be dusty's moccasins are they're still around yeah yeah it's like a type of shoe right yeah yeah mm-hmm. i think so they're not i mean it's not the same kind but yeah that that's like considered a moccasin right. now, almost yeah. like a sperry yeah looks a little bit like a moccasin style shoe huh yeah. A Sperry. Is that what that's called? That's what I think of them as, like that boat shoe. Oh. Yeah. Um, shoes with heels came on in the 10th century. It was originally for men, not women. Wow. Short men. Uh, well, <laughs> you're kind of right. <laughs> At first, it was for Persian so- soldiers <laughs> to avoid falling out of the stirrups when they were shooting their, their bows. Okay. Well, but, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But then the wealthy Persians noticed the short ones notice, hey, it gives you some height. So then they started wearing it. And then when they went to France and the fr- French royalty saw these guys with taller heels, they're like, we got to start doing this. And then it just took off. That's ridiculous. Height is overrated. We really? don't like it. Yeah. yeah. It's overrated. It's coming from a guy who's 6'9". I'm, over just, here. I'm just saying it's not. It's yeah. Not wait, how tall are you? 6'5". Yeah. And a half. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta throw that in, man. It's yeah. overrated. Six Do you and like a half. you don't like being tall? It's not that I or don't like, like it. it. It's just it's overrated. It's not that yeah. good. Yeah, a lot of stuff I miss out on shoes, especially. I miss a lot of Jordans. Oh yeah, because yeah. they don't have them in your size. It's like like a store may get one or two shoes in 14, 15s and that's okay. it. So you would think he would make them for that size. You would think. I bet that I bet he just looks at the. But it's People weird though. It like if if you if you go to StockX, like yeah. some shoes in my size in a fourteen, they'll be like a thousand dollars, and then yeah. one size smaller will be like three hundred dollars. Because they had a, because it's, it's a specialty made. They had to made. kill a whole well <laughs> to make your shoe. Because it's just the what is that? That's got its own uh, factory. They got to wheel it in in a wheelbarrow. What is that one? Two, two ninety eight. Yeah, this is a Jordan One Retro Jordan. High OG with Spider Man across the Spider Verse, oh, oh, starring Nick Novicki. Yep. <laughs> oh, you can get it in a fourteen or a fifteen. Yeah, I'm gonna get those for my son though. Okay. Uh, I I wear a wide, so I struggle, dude. Mm. Wow. How do you? What do you? You have to order yours, right? No, the, they have. You know, you're well, just. They well, have the, the monarchs, no, the Air buys, Monarchs. Technically, about four pair, <laughs> you just cut them and then he cuts them, <coughs> and then he, he glues them together. <laughs> <laughs> and then that this shoe's got two tongues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's got two tongues. <laughs> I just figured out the other year. I was like, uh, I've never felt like shoes fit me that well. Hmm. And then I tried one on a wide, and I was like. Dude, that's a game changer. Where'd you have problems on your side, side of your feet? No, yeah, yeah. I just felt like it was not wide enough. 
Mm-hmm. So I'd go bigger, then there'd be a lot of space. Oh, in yeah, the yeah. front of the foot, and then I got a wide. I'm like, this is this is this is where it's at. That's this is where it oh, feels good, dude. Yeah. How many yeah. pair of shoes do you guys own? Oof. <clears throat> I, don't I own a lot. Yeah, I mean Jordans alone. I think I got like eleven pair. Would you consider yourself a sneakerhead? No, no. Like I got uh, with Scott Eason. Yeah, <laughs> Scott yeah. Eason's. There's some guy. comics he, that are very into yeah, it. He's a sneakerhead. I okay. think Scott Eason has over is there a certain amount. Okay, yeah. So yeah. somewhere between eleven and three hundred, you become a sneakerhead. <laughs> well, not eleven. No. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, is, I that, is that a lot to you? That, that so, like a it's lot? a lot to me. I mean, it's eleven more than I own. Uh, you know, you have one pair. <laughs> yeah, no. shoes. About sneakers, right? I talk about Jordans. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no. How many pairs even... of shoes do you get? You mean Jordans or no? Shoes? I meant shoes. I just all shoes. I mean, like, yeah. I have shoes like just to wear around. To have shoes like this, yeah. I don't have anything like this. Yeah. No. Like nothing I would put on a shelf. Yeah, but I don't know. Are you really the guy that would? No, I'm not the guy they yeah. want. They want to be wearing this. Is Lucy? Isn't it... Lucy, Lucy got it. Yeah. Lucy owns a bunch. Yeah. 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 We have a big shelf downstairs where she's got a ton of stuff yeah i was gonna say because i see i see some of her shoes do you wear them the sneaker heads when they do it like i have a lot of shoes air maxes that i wear on stage uh but i wear them like do people not wear them like you kind of collect them uh yeah a lot of people just collect them yeah Giannis, Giannis Papas is a sneaker head oh is he oh, mm-hmm. okay now he do you worry about cre- creasing them i never do because i like i usually I don't wear my shoes until I get to wherever I'm going. So yeah. if I got a show, I carry it in my backpack. Yeah, you see that all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you know, I don't I, wear mine until I go on stage. Like, yeah, I, I have shoes that have really only f- been worn inside a yeah place. I mean, maybe I'll wear them from the bus to the thing, but yeah. I eventually wear them. Like eventually, is if new ones come, then I'll just like start wearing them. But yeah. yeah, your last two or three specials, people. A lot of people have asked what kind of shoes those are. Oh yeah. The last pair was Rag and Bone, and then uh, the other ones were have always been Nike mm-hmm. Air Max. I like them. those are Rag and Bone. Yeah, if you oh, Google God. Nate Bargetti's <clears throat> shoe, there's a lot of discussion going on here mm-hmm. on Reddit. People ask him. Yeah, no one's ever done that with me or Brian. No, I mean, I mean <laughs> this shoe the size of a canoe, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You look at one of those, like, you have to wear one of those things that people wear to walk in snow. You're walking yeah. Like, yeah. Uh... Walking on tennis rackets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I read where the average woman owns 19 pair of shoes and the average guy, six pair. My wife must be average then because she definitely has that many. I don't know. I probably I have at more least. Probably than Laura, but I don't really? know. Laura might have a lot. She might have, nine, I don't know. 19 feels like a lot. Yeah, like to me it does. But I think they have, they have them. They have they. It's like you fit. You just have so much different reasons to. Oh yeah. You have to wear it like, yeah. you know, the women have to wear like an. They have like one shoe I think that goes with an outfit. Where we could have multiple shoes that go yeah. with an outfit. Yeah. yeah, whatever jeans you're wearing. Right. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. Um, left and right shoes weren't invented till 1817. Oh, oh wow. So man, they've been uh, the sock thing is uh, gotten uh, the left and right sock. They put L and R on a lot of socks. I've never seen that. Oh, oh, uh, uh, that's the thing. Yeah, oh, almost, uh, yeah. Do y'all not? I mean, I wear Hanes <clears throat> socks. So. Oh well, yeah, well, Hanes do it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, lot, both of mine say H. Yeah. <laughs> Nike socks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nike socks. Uh, Don't have a left and right. Yeah. yeah. And I, are they different? Are they shaped differently? I don't. They're enough that I. I don't know. I imagine they are, but <laughs> it's the. I can't do it knowing if I walk around and it's not right, mm-hmm. then I just think about it. If you all had two day. L's on, you'd be thinking about it, it all day. I yeah. wouldn't wear it because I've had it. I have it happen. I'm not buying like like I bought those Swift stick or socks or the you know like whatever the ones uh, people wear. Uh, <clears throat> some don't do it bon uh maybe is it bonos or something their socks might not have the left and right and i like when they don't because if they do then it's like i can't you have to know i have to know and i have to when i fold them together i need them to be i need them to say l and r and if i fold it now if i randomly didn't see it for some reason if i was like hurrying i could then i don't know but i mean I, that's only happened maybe once and you yelled at your maid 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I told you. Do y'all wear show socks? I don't have a mage, so oh, people right, think right, I do. Right, hey, I show, no, socks. Yeah. show socks. Show socks. You know uh, what I'm saying? Like, I wear show socks after. It's after just, the show? No, just yeah. I just have to. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just something. Just something I wear for my you. Room. Give you a little juice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like dress socks, yeah, yeah, like different kind. Uh, I eh, I wouldn't be against it. Like I, I I've, I've definitely had some. Mm. My mom got me some socks that had like my initials on it. And I like those. Yeah, oh, nice. that was yeah, yeah, that was nice. Uh, it was you know, but yeah, I like, but I I wear a lot of like just. I wear those Bono socks or Bonobos maybe or something like that. Bonobos, Bonobos maybe. Yeah. Uh, and like they're just black, mm. and then uh. I try to find a really the perfect sock. It's uh, Allbirds has some new socks. Who's there? Allbirds. Oh. And theirs are very soft. Yeah, uh, Bonobos there. You bonobos. Go. Yeah, yeah, some nice stuff. Yeah, I wear a lot of short socks, but I, uh, I mean, not on stage. Okay. But on stage, I wear. 1817 was the first year somebody decided, let's make well, these I shoes. We're done with this sock talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying uh, to tie it back into what we're doing. This is a shoe episode, Nate. Aaron's I'm just trying to. Hey, dude. <laughs> I thought this was having a great time like, looking like, up socks. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. He goes, all right, do the sun stuff again. Yeah. <laughs> no, socks are next week. Um, <clears throat> so That's a long time before they did left and right shoe. Yeah. That's all. That's the only point I was trying to make. Yeah. I'm trying to say it took a while. Mm-hmm. I'll set the next couple points out. No, I mean I guess it. Um, it's not like you were wearing a right shoe on a left foot. They were just more straightforward. So it might not have been mm. as bad as it would seem. Uh, yeah, just I like, figured that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> 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 but none of us have seen shoes that aren't left or right foot. So I don't know. I'm sure the uh, those wooden shoes people buy, I think, are. Oh, I was about to get to that. Wooden, wooden shoes. shoes. Yeah. That was my next thing. Um, or clogs, they're called. Clogs. Oh. <clears throat> they're uh, big and hollow. You didn't get it until he said clogs. I was just like, wooden shoes. Was, okay. And then when he, said, when he goes clogs, you go, <laughs> so, oh, yeah. those yeah. wooden oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> those wooden oh, shoes. Yeah, I'm wearing those right now. You're yeah. Right. <laughs> clogs are wooden shoes. I just think it's. It is weird that I knew. knew you're like, uh, like oh, wooden clogs. shoes. There you go. That's one of the earliest jokes I remember. Oh. I'd like to go to Holland. Wouldn't you? Oh. It's a good joke, isn't it? That is a good it joke. Is. I'm it's myself. a good kid joke. Yeah. I yeah. was gonna I was gonna tell my kids that joke. It's a good dad joke. It is. Uh most of Holland's below sea level, so their area is really marshy. So they had to have a shoe that uh, wouldn't get wet wet or get ruined, so they invented wooden shoes. Okay. And they're still popular today. Mm-hmm. Nice. Are they? Yeah. According to this. I've seen them. You seen people wearing wooden shoes? Yeah. <laughs> but they make them. I've seen them being made. I've seen them on like elves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you know, I mean, like, I think, yeah, I think there's some people, I think people that probably work on farms or like stuff like that, I bet they do. Wow. That just seems like Because it's like you won't sink. I you guess. probably got a gel insole in there, though. Oh, you have to. Uh, you probably got a I don't nice... know. I think people are just used to it. Like, you know, some of those dudes wow. are, yeah. Just calloused bottom mm-hmm. of their feet, and they're just those are just real men. Yeah. I would almost be like, you put some tennis shoes on, then just, just wear them. Like make them that big, so they fit on your tennis shoes. Okay. And then, yeah, slip them in. The, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. According to the National Shoe Retailers Association, the average male shoe size. Anybody want to guess? Fifteen. Uh, Nine. Yeah. I bet it's. I bet Fifteen. It's, <laughs> that's what I'm wearing. You yeah. think you're average? <laughs> well, <laughs> you just said you have a hard time finding your shoes. Okay, you're right. So yeah. I'm above. I'm above average. Yeah, you're above average. Yeah. yeah. I would say, uh, yeah, nine, nine and a half, ten and a half. Oh, oh really? Oh wow. That's crazy. Oh, good for them. That feels big. Yeah. Hmm. The biggest shoe ever was worn by a guy. We just talked about him a few episodes ago. Anybody remember? Oh, the the guy I made fun of, Alton. Yes. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Robert uh, Wadlow, the world's tallest man. Yeah. And what sizes were those? Size thirty seven AA. Wow. Yeah. How wait, how tall was he? Eight foot eleven. Six four. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, eight foot eleven. Yeah, yeah, it's a big guy. He played basketball. <clears throat> Did he? No, he's no. the least athletic looking person you've ever seen I in know. your life. That's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the problem. He, yeah. that I mean, was, yeah, he lived for like an hour. <laughs> 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 he 
<laughs> it's tough. That's not. It's hard to be that tall. I bet when you and Mike were kids, shoes with lights on and Velcro shoes were popular. Uh, light? No. Like lights on the? Is that? Yeah, you just make it like we're. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 42. Yeah. Well, no, they didn't have. No. How young do you think we are? Aaron probably had lights. I never had them, but man, I was jealous of the kids that did. Okay, so I'm yeah. I'm, I'm too off on that. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have lights. Like well, I, I mean, I was, I grew up in the '90s. Yeah. It says in 1992 the LED shoe craze began. I don't remember that. I must have missed it. 1992. Yeah. Oh. I was in Alabama. It probably took a few years for that yeah. craze to kick in. Yeah. yeah. But I would say by the time I was eight or nine, that's when kids Aaron started was, rolling up. Yeah. yeah. Aaron was down there in his Buffalo Bills Super Bowl shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Ross Perot for president. <laughs> <shirts. Yeah. laughs> it was. Uh, yeah, I, uh, this says the craze was in the nineties. The remember. craze, I, I, I don't it. think I, you probably had to have money. You had money in mind. I don't have any money. Mike, go ahead. You had money. All right, what about this then? <laughs> the Reebok pump. Oh, oh yeah, man. I remember that. Yeah, no, that, that was, was big. big. Yeah. That was Shaq. Yeah, now remember you're speaking that. their language. I love the Reebok pump. Yeah, that was man. awesome. In February 1991, D Brown inflated his Reebok pumps in yeah. front of a national audience before winning the slam yeah. dunk. Didn't Shaq because, have it though too? Yes. Yeah. How much are they worth now? Those. Oh. Uh, the original, what, what was it? Nike? No, Reebok. Reebok. Reebok pump. Shoes. Remember when they had the they they had the little canister you could use then mm-hmm. instead of uh, using a pump. See, I know these primarily from uh, Shaq. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Oh yeah, remember Dave Chappelle had yeah. these and he oh, stopped the fight to pump them up. Yeah. It's the funniest oh, yeah. thing I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Yeah, I I never had a pair. Of, what did you did you pump them up? Ooh. Yeah, would you yeah. actually play basketball in these? Oh, I never had any. I never yeah. had a pair of those. Oh, okay. I would. And I think I, you had a pair. I would dunk. <laughs> yeah, <Stop. laughs> if they got tight enough. Wait, have, have have any of y'all dunked before? I dunked a tennis ball. <clears throat> dunked a tennis ball. A nerf I, ball. I count it on a ten, ten, ten foot go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can touch backboard. Yeah. You, you heard? Yeah. The okay. highest I ever got was maybe halfway up the net. Uh, I was never yeah, even close. Yeah, yeah so you that weren't. counts as a. I count yeah. yours. Yeah, pretty good. I was in high school. I was probably when I was like five nine, five yeah. ten. Yeah. I could always jump. I'd have to run the length of the court. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. But I, I ran Sounds and then just go up. <laughs> you probably could have dunked if you were well, right. tired by the time you yeah. got there. You did the Jordan yeah. run the length. Yeah. Of the court. You could have started half court. court. <laughs> <I would go. laughs> that seems so far. I would take. Right. A, I would get in a cab Tell and me. drive me to the. <laughs> to the and I would start thinking about it in the cab. No. Then I'd get out running from the parking lot into the. <laughs> and if I got enough going, I would. Did you just... jump off one one foot or two? You one. Had... I'd always oh, go okay. I was about to say because if you ran that far, jumped off of two. And then I just stop. <laughs> and then they go, "Well, it doesn't." He goes, "Takes a break." I don't realize it. And they're going. Well, dude, I mean, <laughs> you're stopping with two feet, so and you I lost go, all your momentum. I go what? <laughs> no, I would have to be running, oh, and so gosh. I would like, and then I could go. And I, could I wasn't jump. a good one foot jumper. I was two feet. Can you dunk now? I can. I still can. It hurts. But yeah. I still <laughs> what part of it hurts? Could you dunk like your knees? Yeah. 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 Super easy. Your ego, maybe. Can, uh, can I do- <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> what could you dunk? Were you, were you able to dunk like just at? Like whenever you wanted to, when you could dunk in the game, yeah. No, nah, I mean that's hard. I mean, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like if I'm but on like, a break, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, you see, like obviously, yeah. Like you, it was like it'd be easier than like like you could dunk. Oh, yeah. You're not worried about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure there's a spot where you're like, you're like, if it's the, you know, if you're in a game, mm-hmm. you're like, I need to probably lay it up. Yeah, it's 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 funny you said it because it's times I think back to games where. I, when I laid it up, I was like, I should have dunked that. Yeah. I wish I would have dunked. And I still remember this one game I should have dunked. And I I just laid it up. Yeah. I Did you scared. miss the layup? No, I made the layup. Then why should you have dunked? Because that would have been that would have been more forceful. It would have set the tone. <laughs> yeah. 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 It just, just you would have sent a message. If anybody wanted trash. to jump. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, this this was in uh was in Maryville, Tennessee. Yeah. 1994. Go ahead. <laughs> Hasn't let it go yet. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Get it out. You gotta let these people know. <laughs> Tell Maryville dunked. High School. Maryville, Maryville, y'all, y'all lucky. Y'all got y'all lucky. Was, y'all really did. I should have dunked on I it. Is this in college? Y'all. Yeah, it was a college. Yeah, Maryville. At they, Fisk? Yeah. 
when I was at Fisk. Yeah. And you went to Ball State too, though. I went to Ball State first. You that played was, there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was. We would have just missed each other at Ball State. Yeah. Well, I was 90. I, I went there in 98. So you probably went there in 9, 2000. 2000. Yeah. You think y'all yeah, took the same classes? Yeah, 2000. Did you take remedial classes? Absolutely. All right. That was Maybe. First thing I signed up for. Yeah. Did you graduate from Fisk? I did not. All right. I finished playing ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've had enough. I have a similar story. Mm-hmm. Both guys, two guys dunking. Yeah, just out dunking, man. Just two dudes dunking. <laughs> Running the length of the court. Yeah. <laughs> Stopping and jumping. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine somebody running full speed. With a tennis ball. And then stopping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like, dude, why didn't you just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who's a porter runner though? Yeah. <laughs> uh, in nineteen seventeen, advertising executive uh, coined the word sneaker. Came up with the idea because the rubber sole made no sound, so you could sneak up on people. No. Okay. We would uh, still say we say tennis shoes. I mean, I'd say right. sneaker I now. Would say tennis shoes too, because uh, yeah. But I would if I'm just saying, hey, we grab me some tennis shoes. Like that's what I would say. But I've started saying sneakers, just because so many people say it, and it was like I guess you know sneakers are becoming a thing now. So you're right. like, each yeah. sneaker means something. Yeah, it but, used to be like an up north thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We would say tennis shoes. Yeah, I right. looked at we a map. Almost the whole U.S. still calls it tennis shoes, except the Northeast. Okay, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, why would we call it tennis shoes? Because tennis- that that was the the famous like shoe uh, like tennis tennis players used to put shoes the most right back in the day. Uh, yeah. And then anything athletic, we just called it that. Yeah, because the players used to the tennis players used to be the ones that used to sell sneakers. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why they were. If you watch the Jordan documentary, they were saying that. Um, they were asking, "Were you? Are you trying to make him like a tennis player?" Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess it's just because people would wear the shoes playing tennis. There's no, there's no real, real reason for it. Good. It sounds yeah. better to me. My, my sneaker, story? I feel weird saying. Yeah, I think Mike just said my story yeah. sounds better. Yeah, yeah. we'll go. With yeah, that. it seems like we got the truth. <clears throat> yeah, this is the bottom of it. The first sneakers were Keds, invented in 1917 by Adidas. Adidas was around then. Wow. Yeah. What were they making? Uh, Probably like guns or something. Like that's like all these. <laughs> they were. They were. Were they? They were a German corporation. They were I feel like there's just like every. It's a every, German man. Yeah. Adidas. That's how mm. they say it over there. Adidas? Yeah. I liked it. Hmm. His name is Adi Dostler. Hmm. And Jesse Owen won four gold medals at the 1936 Olympics wearing Adidas. Mm. Wow. And then 1923, Converse hired a basketball player named Chuck Taylor. He had the first con- uh, He was the first uh, player to have a shoe named after him, and Chuck Taylor's is still around today. Those shoes are ironic because yeah. how can you play ball in those? They have no support. Yeah, I've worn them. They're not. It's even to walk around. They're not. It hurts your back. Like, I, yeah, was- people wear them, and I'm like, I don't like it. I know it's a style. Yeah, but like to really walk around in it. I mean, they used to play full games in these. Yeah. If you watch The Sandlot, you ever see The yeah. Sandlot? Remember at the, the end, pro, yeah. that's his secret weapon yeah. is Benny the Jet pulls out a pair of these. Yeah. And you're like, how are you going to run? It looks yeah. like the most uncomfortable shoes of all time. Converse yeah. looks like they don't do left and right either. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're still like, we don't do it. Just put whatever you want to put on. And then in 85, the Air Jordan 1s were released. Boom. And that changed everything. In my opinion, still the best looking, the best looking shoe. The, the Jordan 1? When, when I think of like a nice basketball sneaker, mm-hmm. that this is what I think of. So the 11, the, the 11 is the most popular because it's the most, I think that's the most versatile one. Okay. Let's look at the 11s. These look, see, to me, these oh, look yeah. a little, uh, I don't like the way these I look. like these. <laughs> Those are the most popular ones. Because Those are more they, popular than the ones. These are yeah, the elevens are the most popular. Spe- specifically the uh, the uh, the red, black, and white ones. Okay. Those are the most popular. And now, are they more comfortable than the ones? Probably. No, I mean, look, dude, those are the ones I had on when I broke my toe last week. Yeah. So, I oh. mean, they have no oh. give in 
Okay. Okay. None. So they're not good shoes. Not to play ball in. I okay. But, you know. So these weren't meant to play basketball in. Yeah, they were, but not okay. Because I feel like if you if you go play a basketball game, pickup game somewhere, are people wearing these types of shoes? Yeah. You would wear Jordan Elevens and play basketball. I would. Okay. I mean, if for me to wear Jordan Eleven, my my my, they have to be like years like worn down okay yeah yeah that's what i was thinking yeah because if these are shoes people don't want to crease crease mess up you know they're just gonna go play basketball at the y what would you shoot would y'all get shoes in college when you play college basketball oh, yeah. yeah so you just get whatever you want uh-huh. or was... like whoever they sponsored by yeah what Same brand one. was it Do you nike, nike? Oh, nike. oh there you go oh, so would you nike. get jordans no 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 Our, i think the the closest we had was uh I think we got Jason kids. So everybody had to wear the same shoe. Mm-hmm. That's quite a downgrade. To get. <laughs> so it wasn't. We didn't have Jordans. We had Jason. It wasn't. Kids. Though, though, it wasn't that Kyle brand. Corvers. It was. Uh, it was another. Style. These are some of the ugliest shoes I've ever seen yeah. in my life. But those were like a, a famous team shoe. Like yeah. a lot of teams wore those. Okay. Because yeah. they came in so many colors. Uh, okay, they're easily customizable. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I like crazy shoes. Yeah, me too. He's like, do, uh, do your next special in some Jason kids. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm just too, now I'm too old. Mm. But it's, I like. Uh, you would have worn these back in the day? I've always, for some reason, liked kind of ridiculous looking shoes. I just always think they're fun. I, I don't think those look bad. <laughs> they don't. These look like, like, the, the, like, like the, the Jetsons kinda, are going to wear them. Yeah. I mean, they look absurd it's to me. It's just kind of fun. I just, I, I don't know. I just remember it. Maybe it's yeah. nostalgia, but it's just like, I remember yeah. those being so cool. The Jason kids. I didn't even know he had shoes. He had a couple pair. Those aren't the ones we had though. We had the the kind that were like real thin. I can't even remember. Some of these. Look at these. What Would you that? wear these? If, if, this yeah. is like a Salvador Dali painting. <laughs> just melted. And, anyway. <clears throat> Sorry. I got distracted. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, there's a guy named Jordan Geller. Who's a sneaker collector? He opened a zoo, shoeseum, the world's first sneaker museum. He has the Guinness World Record for having the largest sneaker collection in the world at 2,388 pair. Wow. Mm. I wonder how much is it worth? Does it say? Uh, I don't know, but he, altogether, I, I don't know. He has some unworn pair uh, of Nike Moon shoes that, uh, that sold for 437000 Because some shoes. They're worn pair? Um, he said they're. Unworn or so unworn? They, Those are the ones. Yeah. Like they won. Uh, they was so they wore on the moon. No, I think it was just a one of the Nike's earliest brands. Mark oh. the moon shoe. Yeah, the Back to the Future shoes. Yeah, I, I, I wanted those. So I've bad. seen those. I've never like I've seen them somewhere. Like at a at a place. Yeah, those are like twenty five thousand dollars. That's insane. Uh, yeah, those light up. Yeah, yeah those do light the up. Marty McFly's. I was like, dude, did the moon landing? They just. Nike sponsored it. <laughs> they should have. Yeah. Man. Well, you know, conspiracy theorists say that the tracks on the moon don't fit with Neil Armstrong's oh. uh, the tread on yeah. his spacesuit. Yeah. And it said that he actually left his shoes on the moon, his his boots, because they brought back samples of dirt and I don't know what else. And they had to, the weight had to be exactly right. So they had to leave stuff on the moon and he left his boots. He flew back barefoot. No, he had on a space suit and then he put boots over oh, the space okay. suit. Well, I just, would they still be up there? Yeah. As far as yeah. I know. Wow. Y'all believe the lamb, the moon landing? Y'all believe it? Uh-huh. Yeah. They, yeah. I, 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 we kind of dance I, around it on this podcast. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, we do a lot of bits. I, mean, I do, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. People, the, the people sit in that chair too, usually. Yeah. Don't. I do. Yeah, too. Yeah. 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 Your seat <laughs> is. You might just be it, feeling it felt something like it. Right yeah, now. I was yeah, feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. like I don't know. Yeah. You sat down. You're like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. what just happened? <laughs> you kind of saw the world as it is. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is, this is weird. My yeah. eyes are open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aaron, why don't you tell us a little bit about Babel? Oh, I was weak. Well, I know we I got behind. That's okay. So, where are you going in this fall? I'm going to Babel. If you have an upcoming summer, sorry, if you have an upcoming summer trip abroad, my go-to travel hack is Babbel. Whether you're a seasoned traveler like me or you're going on the road for the first time like Brian, communication is key to fully experiencing a new culture. That's where Babbel comes in. It's the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. 10 million people have done this. Don't be an idiot. Sign up for Babbel. It has easy bite-sized language lessons. 
there's still time to learn a new language before you reach your destination. You can choose from up to 14 different languages, Spanish, French, Italian, German, so many different ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. So there's, you know, give it a whirl. Right now, you can get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash Nate. That's B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Nate for up to 55% off your subscription. Babble. Language for life. Man. So in Arab culture, shoes are, of course, considered to be dirty. And so to sole the, show the sole of one shoe is considered an insult. And to throw a shoe and hit someone is considered an insult to them. So this was what almost happened to George W. Bush, if you guys remember. Mm. Oh, it did happen to him. It, right? like, yeah. it they, didn't hit him. Right, That's he was smooth, but, but it was, it was uh, real smooth. Yeah, but, but uh, mm -hmm. so that was like a very high insult. Yeah, yeah. To throw your shoes. What would the equivalent be in uh, American culture? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. To fling a trash can lid at him, <laughs> <laughs> like a frisbee. Mm -hmm. Just I don't know, flipping the bird. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's been so. I'm so desensitized to that now. Right. Uh, yeah. Maybe there is no equivalent. You know. Well, it's like a tradition, like, you know, to be like, we consider that to be, well, I don't think here we consider anything to be anything. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Do we, I don't You're think right. we get insulted. No, we don't like, yeah, there's nothing here that's like passed down of, you know, well, we believe that hmm. the front door mat is where the spirits live. <laughs> like, no one's like yeah. saying that when they're going to your house and you're like, wipe your shoes off. Yeah, I think in many countries you have yeah. to take your shoes off before you enter. Oh, yeah, that's a Look, baseball. See, so you go. He's winding up. Yeah. Bush is looking at him a little bit of a. Well, look he at pops that. up a little bit of a smirk. He's like, "Yeah, hey, come he on." He didn't even. He didn't even flinch on that second one. Yeah, <laughs> it was like he. This guy doesn't have any aim. Yeah. Look at that one. <laughs> I was so smooth. Though. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This he is said, like, no. Yeah, like, you got to throw its body. Look, and the second one, uh, he's like, uh, people. <laughs> Mr. He first pitch yeah, over here. Like, he throws the first one. Then he leans down and takes off his other shoe. He didn't well, why don't any. you take them both off at once? Well, he didn't. Yeah. He didn't think he was about to get to the second shoe. Yeah, he, that's goes, what, he was cocky. He was cocky. Because, yeah. yeah, he sits there and he goes, I'm going to throw my shoe at him. Yeah, I mean, a, he might not have told anybody he's going to do this, but he yeah. did talk to someone before. He goes, I'm going to throw my shoe at him. He goes, you don't take both off. He goes, you're going to hit him, dude. Like, no one's <laughs> expecting to ever have a shoe thrown at him. <laughs> So he probably was old. I don't see player. how you look. And then he did it, and he goes, "I wound up too much." And so I gave. He tipped his hat a little too much. He did, and that's what made him dodge it. And then the second, the second one was actually probably closer. And it, if he had thrown the second one first, I think he yeah. would have hit him. Yeah, that's true. Because look throw. at the second one; barely goes over Bush's shoulder. Yeah, the strike. Yeah, the second one is the one. The second one is like that's the. That's the one. If he'd have thrown like that, yeah, because he just like kind of right. released it a little bit quicker. First one is too much of a wind up. Yeah, the first one had more passion. Yeah. I think that's what it was. He was yeah. overzealous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the first one would have hurt. Though. Yeah, that like, would have. I mean, that could have took his head off. Second one, you would have been like, I love the other guy. I guess the president just kind of yeah tries to flick it on the second one. Mm -hmm. Look, he it's didn't like, even move it off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he tried to block it. He, he tried, tried to, to catch it. it. I got Which you. Which is like. And that was a George Bush is probably like, don't touch it. Right. If you touch it, I'm going to get hit. <laughs> yeah, like you know yeah. when someone tries to help. Rejection. And it yeah. was such a it was such they a fake to, attempt. It was yeah. he wasn't even really trying. Yeah. I mean, no one seemed to care that this guy threw a shoe. No. Uh, and then you got to go. I mean, when do you got to go up there and? Oh, then you got. They finish. make you got to go get the shoes. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, after all that. After yeah. all that, you gotta you gotta walk over there barefoot. They go, I'm uh, leaving. Yeah. I'm leaving. And you like Well, someone <laughs> grab my shoes though. <laughs> I need my shoes. And they go, You can't have your shoes. Oh. He goes, Those are my shirts. <laughs> it's, it's evidence. Yeah. It's that's what they would say. It's evidence. I guess you gotta know you're getting rid of these shoes. Maybe he was a baseball player. Imagine if player, you threw though. shoes though. You have a pair of shoes that you'd be like, okay, I'm fine just walking <laughs> away from these shoes. Mm. I mean, it's probably 50 bucks. It's like throwing 50 bucks at the president's head. <laughs> you got to just 
They had Launched to be shoes really premed- premeditated. Yeah. Because he had to put on some shoes that I he bet didn't he borrowed like. Shoes. He goes, hey, can I borrow some shoes today? <laughs> I can't yeah. say. He goes, I'm going to like a nice event. Why? And the buddy's like, yeah, yeah, of course. Like, what like you but go- your shoes are nice, yeah. though. He goes, I know, let me use yours. He goes, oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, what? This is my favorite shoes, but yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, I've never. Who on earth would borrow shoes and then never be able to give them back? I don't even know. You'd have to throw them in a lake. And then the, 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 he goes, are at the president of the United States of America. He goes, this, I never saw that coming. Uh-oh. Uh, these guys my age. That's the guy who threw the shoes? Mm-hmm. It seems to be, yeah. He's my age. So I could have been, he could have been in that it. situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The shoes were later destroyed by U.S. and Iraqi security forces. <laughs> they had to destroy them? Yeah. yeah. They, they smell that, that bad? Wow. Like, I got to make sure. There were calls throughout the Middle East to place the shoes in an Iraqi museum. Oh. They call it a shoeing. Yeah. Shoeing. But yeah. why Yeah, why would they uh, yeah, destroy the shoes? Sent- I bet they, there's no way they destroyed those shoes. Someone has those shoes. Yeah. He was sentenced to three years in prison, ended up only serving one year. He released early for good behavior after spending nine months in jail. Well, he didn't have any yeah. shoes. He spent nine. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't do anything. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So shoe tossing or shoe feety is when you throw a pair of lace shoes over a, a wire, yeah. a telephone oh, wire, yeah. things like that. It's often associated with, with drug deals or gangs. Is that right, Mike? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, so, um, <laughs> uh, but uh, 2015, uh, Research by Chicago Tribune says that they can't find any proof that that's that's what it is. It's just like a, <laughs> it's like graffiti. Yeah. Uh. In Victoria, England, you throw some shoes at someone after they get married. It's like a thing of good luck. It's like us throwing bird seed. Oh, so you throw yeah. shoes. You launch a shoe at someone's head. You throw bird seeds. Yeah. You know when you walk down and everybody throws. I thought it was like, rice. I thought it was yeah, rice. It's rice. Too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe it is rice. Oh, back in my day, it was bird seed. Yeah, <laughs> I think we did rice, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bird seed. Did yeah. Well, you got married later than <laughs> I know, but all I, of us. I'm talking about my all my friends who got married 30 years before I did. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, they were using bird seed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't get it. That, like a horse yeah, it was during the rain. depression that couldn't <laughs> get rid of the rice. <laughs> Nobody's ever heard <laughs> of that. Huh? Like Going bird seed. Uh, uh, no, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I think I assumed you meant rice when he said it. Yeah, so I don't I think I've ever asked about. what it was. I just took a handful and threw it. Now uh, you like people blow bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. Are My dad's side of the family does tennis balls. Well, they have. That's where the money comes from. Yeah. Y'all throw, Y'all they throw tennis, tennis balls, balls at each other. Yeah, yeah. They, they everyone get a thing of tennis balls. And just no, help you got to bring your own tennis ball. ball. I think somebody shows up with a couple pallets. You know, no. I don't remember this at your wedding. I wish we would have done it at my wedding, but we didn't. Yeah, we had yeah. some some pretty good arms at Joe and y'all lit sparkles. Yeah, oh yeah, I would have got lit up yeah. at my yeah. wedding. Yeah, that would have been brutal. Yeah, man. Your honeymoon in a black eye. I would, oh, I would have took my wife's ball and used her. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a lot of husbands taking their wife's ball. Oh, and just that's what like, it is. To me. Yeah, you'd have to give it. You'd want the kids to get it. I mean, kids would definitely be. And the kids are going to be relentless. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the point of it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Y'all throw them that hard at, you know? Oh, yeah. Dude. Imagine I remember my uncle's wedding just going after him, man. Clocking what if a divorce him. happened? Because she goes, well, I didn't know you. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like just a, a woman marrying into this family. And she's like, they have, they seem cool. Well, wait till they, have they launched tennis balls at you yet? And she's like, what? Have you not got to the part? The Webbers. It is the a part. Web- tennis ball. Yeah. If family. you not hit the part of, I mean, can you imagine if first date, they go, you have no idea. Let's make it and Lucy. Goes, yeah, Lucy, getting married, first date, someone, she goes, I don't know, I had a dream last night, but I think I'm going to get hit by <laughs> 70 tennis balls <laughs> being with you. And you'd be like, where would that happen? Nowhere. Nowhere. It would never, if, if you would have told someone in your family, you will be hit by tennis balls. I don't, and you go, we're not going to tell you when or why. The last place they think it's going to happen know. is the day they're walking to their car. <laughs> so, so is it a part of the ceremony or just randomly? You can just throw <laughs> just anytime. Just, no, like, it's <laughs> at the same time that you would throw rice. <laughs> it's not just no, it's more fun that way. Yeah, just randomly. <laughs> 
Surprise! I'm a hoe, man. <laughs> That's what I was, all these other countries have all these things they do. This is what we have. <laughs> uh, these countries, you're like, oh, it's, uh, the, the bottom of your feet is considered insulting. You're like, we're launching tennis balls. <laughs> At the person that's dressed up the most, we're celebrating that person, and we just we're lunch. happy for him. Yeah, we're happy for him. I think that's awesome. I wish I'd known that at your wedding. I know. I, I almost I thought about like, but you know, when you get married, it's it's like the bride's wedding. It's not the husband's oh, yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So another reason you shouldn't be throwing tennis balls right, right. for your uncle's wedding. It's about her. Yeah, it's and a good you go, point. but our family we like to throw <laughs> these tennis balls at, and they go. Like uh, I've never heard of this. This is that guy's dad. I like, loved it. I don't. I, know. I think I've done it at two or three weddings now. I just assumed wrongfully that we would do it at my wedding. I wish we did. Wait, this is mm-hmm. so. This is just a family thing. It's just my dad's family. Oh, I've, ne- okay. I've never seen it anywhere else. I want to know where it started. Have you ever asked? No, sure I need to follow up on that. Yeah. I imagine in a just, castle. <laughs> I just, just want to know why the Weber's got started in a big castle and. <laughs> England, I'm playing on grass. <laughs> Is that where? Maybe. It's just Germany. made it down to Alabama. So a lot of runners say that uh, it's better for your feet if you ran barefoot because shoes cause oh, yeah. problems. And um, and they did some research, and, and you will avoid heel striking if you don't run with shoes on. You'll run on the balls of your feet like you're supposed to, where if you wear runner's shoes, your, your, your heels will more likely get hurt. There's a guy who wrote a book called Born to Run, and he uh, pretty vis- <laughs> He visited a, a Mexican tribe that all run 100 miles at a time, and none of them get hurt. And they do wear shoes, but they're so uncushioned that they cause injuries from not happening. And they have thin sandals, and they think our shoes are too cushioned yeah. and therefore causing problems. Mm. I know, like the fastest people in our neighborhood, I always took their shoes off when they were getting ready to run. Mm-hmm. Every yeah. time. They, yeah. That's how you, if you saw somebody, you were about to race somebody and they started taking their shoes off. Yeah. Just don't worry about it. You're not going to win. Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. That is yeah. a, that's a, a flex as yeah. they say that. <laughs> yeah. Like just being. Is it like taking your shirt off before a fight? Yep. Okay. I don't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's a jacket on. Yeah. <laughs> I get dressed. Zips I add more dressed. layers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait a second. Let me go get my jacket. Uh, so I know the future of shoes. So there's a new uh, shoes out called the Moonwalkers that is kind of like, oh, here they are. Um, what? And you basically, they you can walk... Uh, much faster because it's kind of like the the thing at the airport. Movie yeah. Thing. Well, they kind of do that for you walking all the time. There's video of these. Oh yeah, I did see those. Um, how much faster do you go? You can go. Oh, I yeah. thought it was on there, but I uh, I think you can go like uh, two hundred and fifty percent faster. They say. Oh, this is crazy. You just... <laughs> Man, uh, you're just flying. Yeah. These look awesome. They look stupid, but like, yeah, yeah, but it's like, how do you go? Like, yeah, you feel like, I mean, he just, oh, this is the guy, the video, uh, the guy tried them out to see if they actually work. They seem to work great. Yeah. Except on cobblestone. That's an old version there. <laughs> and those are the prototypes. Yeah. We get the final version here. <laughs> so it's not as fast as if you're speed walking but he's just walking it looks like a normal pace and he's kind of flying yeah down the pavement there yeah those are fun yeah did you see me on one of those moving things at the airport wear those i mean just wearing It'd those on a solid ground i think those would be probably fun i guess like you would just it's like skating you know it's eventually mm-hmm. you're just gonna be skate you're like so just wearing i'm wearing skates yeah, yeah. that's all uh, but yeah like if you were on those it'd be bad it'd be you know you'd be no one would know you're on something but you would have a helmet on <laughs> yeah. but, but like they look like regular shoes and people would be like is that guy just walking <laughs> with a helmet on it's walking strange yeah <laughs> in his regular shoes yeah yeah it seems kind of like a novelty yeah, you know, try it one time. It's fun. Mm-hmm. That's how those Heelys are. I got a yeah. pair of Heelys a, a while back. Oh, it's a and, while uh, back. 
Like when you were a kid? No, like a few months ago. Oh, the one you made a video of. Yeah, 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 I got, I did them to make a video, and I thought maybe I'll just start wearing these. Yeah. And uh, I was not good at it. It's not intuitive. It takes work. Which is weird, because it seems like it'll be easy just to... You see the commercial, those yeah. kids are just like just gliding. Killer, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's very difficult. Huh. It's very difficult for me. I, I bet these are similar. I bet these take a little getting used to. Yeah. Yeah. Probably like a hoverboard. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Uh, shoes. All right. Shoes. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's, uh, yeah, I'll be where you guys will be at. You'll be where we'll be. At. I'll be. <laughs> no, I won't be where you're at. I'll be. I'm home. So I'm, uh, I got a good little playing in the Lake Tahoe a- tournament. Uh, the, the ACC championship, I think it's called. I don't know. Uh, but I'm Is doing that, like- that July. That's the one that's on TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So uh, I'll be on that in July. And then, uh, yeah, I've been doing the NASCAR race. To present. No sh- like no shows, uh, which is very uh, – it's like uh, – it's good. And I want to get some new material, so I need to live a life. And uh, so – and then we go to Australia at the end of July. Awesome. And then uh, Alaska State Fair in August. And then September will be back to – grinding it out uh but loving it not grinding it out it's the best but back on doing shows every week and all that so yeah i got a nice little summer yeah i'm off too this week i i took some time off to train for my first pitch so mm. yeah, yeah. spent about 16 18 hours a day yeah. working on that <laughs> <laughs> i'm off uh i'll be in uh bristol tennessee at blue ridge comedy club coming up not this weekend but coming up got some corporates got some opening for people i'm working i'm working you know that's how it's well. My show got rescheduled to later on in the month. So next week I'll be in Ontario at the uh, Improv. Mm. Nice. California. Yeah. You other nice. show you just It got moved to the it was a uh, it was a uh, Huckabee oh, doing oh, that, okay. but it yeah, got yeah. moved to the to the later on in the okay. year. Yeah. And July eleventh, you're at the Opry. Yep. Your Opry debut. Opry debut. Yeah, I was yeah, talking about yeah. that. That's awesome. Yeah, man. a lot of people like, uh Jelly Roll uh had had commented that he was gonna he was trying to come. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then so many people hit me up and was like, hey, man, uh, I didn't know you know Jelly Roll. I'm going to have to come check your show out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, Jelly Roll, local dude. Yeah, man. Very fun. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. Yeah. That guy, like, uh, just from here. It's awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, Dude, have fun at the Opry, man. Yeah, if I don't see that, you, that's awesome. Big time, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for popping in, Mike. Thanks for having me. Uh, and then. Uh, well, there you go. Dusty's yeah. baby should be here. Should any be day here. Now? Yeah. Well, it's not here. It should be here. Uh, baby Slay. That's baby not bad. Slay. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Baby Slay. Baby. Like yeah. And call and, yeah. And then and just baby. Baby's yeah. not bad. Yeah. Baby Slay. You don't baby see that Slay. a lot anymore. You don't see it. No. Uh, all right. Uh, that's it. Uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, uh, have a great uh, summer day. <laughs> Summer Today. solstice. Yeah. Summer solstice. Celebrate. <laughs> it's the most sunlight you're going to get, so you better <laughs> check out your <laughs> take of it. <laughs> All right. Talk to y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetsy, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast.